Capital One Bowl Week. When the U.S. Naval Academy is in town, it's not just a game, it's an event. And defending their option isn't just a job, it's an adventure. BC's Eagles are looking for their seventh straight bowl victory. But even with the team in transition, they're looking to make even more history. became a rock star and a coach headed south but fiery signal caller Matt Ryan played through pain to be the top quarterback in the ACC Navy's fleet was cruising when they lost squadron leader Brian Hampton but they brighted the ship and when Reggie Campbell gets a little space it could be anchors away Charlotte, North Carolina for the Meineke Car Care Bowl. In this matchup, Navy, who has gone to its fourth straight bowl game for the first time in its history, takes on a Boston College team that it's looking to win its seventh straight bowl game overall. A couple of nine-win teams meeting up. Pam Ward joined here by Mike Gottfried. And Boston College, Mike, certainly is used to having success in the bowl games, but they're a team in transition right now. Tom O'Brien, their head coach, has left to coach at NC State. Frank Spaziani, the head coach today in this ball game, has, has to be the leader on the sideline. Hold this team together. The other thing about Frank Spaziani, he has a tough, difficult chore today stop the option of Navy but his team can win 10 games for the first time since 84 on the other side you got Paul Johnson he wants to control the clock uh, shorten the game with his option read the option he has an answer for everything BC is going to do to his option Navy once again number one in the in the nation in rushing offense now for three of the last four years they have done that the other side you have Matt Ryan a very talented junior quarterback led the ACC in passing and total offense 13 and 4 is a starter Matt Ryan is a tough guy that can throw the football now he's the glue that holds this BC offense and the team together he's a try captain a tough guy that throws the ball he's very accurate very poised very mature he is the leader so we know he's good but how tough is Matt Ryan let's go down to Jimmy Dykes Tammy's one of the tougher guys you'll find in college football this year. I'm actually wearing the walking boot that Matt Ryan has worn for the past two months, 24 hours a day, with the exception of playing in a game and a couple of days a week during practice. The reason why he's played a, with a broken bone in his left foot for the last seven ball games. He admitted to me yesterday, it's the first time he's admitted that it's been a broken bone. I asked him how will it affect him in today's ball game. He said, I wasn't mobile before the break. I'm less mobile now. I'm pretty much a one-dimensional quarterback. He will have it surgically corrected next week, but Matt Ryan, one of the tougher for guys in college football right now had some trouble with his mobility in their last game against Miami they lost that one 17 to 14 we have some cloudy skies here in uh, downtown Charlotte temperatures right now in the mid 50s we do expect showers but are hoping that they will at least hold off until this game is over as Navy and Boston College getting ready to play each other for the first time in five years A midshipman well represented Navy won the toss. George Foreman was down there for the coin toss. We, he will join us later. They deferred, so Boston College will receive. And the Monarchy Car Care Bowl is underway. Jeff Smith, the true freshman, gets it near his goal line. And Smith, who led the ACC in kickoff returns this season, takes that back 23 yards as Anthony Piccioni makes the stop. Matt Ryan now introduces his offense. Hi, I'm Matt Ryan, and here's a look at Boston College's offense. Up front, we got left tackle, number 70, Jim Martin. At right guard, the biggest eater on the team, Josh Beekman. At right tackle, Big Chief, Gosder Charles. At tight end, T-Bone, Ryan Thompson. 
At wideout, number 26, Mr. Clutch, Tony Gonzalez. And in the backfield, Lennox Valencia Whitworth. And that is LV Whitworth, who is thrown to, but he does not hold on to it. The question is, was it a backward pass? Now they're saying it is incomplete. Boston College impact players. You already took a look at Matt Ryan, and see he led the ACC in passing yards and total offense. And Josh Beekman, not only the biggest eater on the team, but certainly the best of a very good offensive line. Great football player, great offensive guard. He's already graduated now in grad school. There he is, number 25. He's played left guard, right guard, and center in his career. And the handoff to Whitworth, who goes down in his tracks. David Mahoney, one of the duo of talented outside linebackers, makes the stop. Rob Caldwell, one of their captains on defense, with the introductions. Hi, I'm Rob Caldwell, and here's today's look at Navy's defensive lineup. At defense heaven, we got John Chan, other defensive end, the Storm and Warman, Ty Adams. At outside linebacker, we got the future president of the United States, Tyler Tidwell. Other outside linebacker, our big play guy, Dave Mahoney. Defensive secondary, we got a freshman All-American, Jay Miles. And at corner, we got Keenan Little. All I do is score touchdowns. Right now, they're pursuing Matt Ryan, who has to throw it out of bounds. So Navy with a terrific first series on defense. A good series by the midshipmen, because when you play against the option, you have to make your series on offense work. So BC not happy with that three and out. John Shan, who leads Navy with seven sacks, was in hot pursuit of Ryan. So with the three and out, Jason Tomlinson awaiting the punt of Greg Vitetto. I think that Johnny Ayers in for the punt. And Ayers airs it out. Tomlinson dancing around and goes down around the 25-yard line. Here comes the Navy option offense and their quarterback We'll let him say his name first. <laughs> I, oh, I have to say it. Kaipo Noah Kahiaku and Hada is his name. He is from the island of Oahu, and he is only a sophomore now making his sixth straight start because Brian Hampton blew out his knee against Rutgers. Of course, the fullback so important in this offense as they run the option. They have a stack of three receivers to the left of Kahiaku and Hada. And look at this, they're throwing right away and he completes it. And here's James Rossi, the center, to introduce Navy. Hi, I'm James Rossi, starting center for the Navy Midshipmen and team co-captain. Our starting lineup at offensive line, we've got Matt Pritchett at left tackle, Zach Gallion at left guard, and myself at center. In the backfield, we've got Kaipo Noah, Kahiako, and Hada, the flying Hawaiian at quarterback, Reggie Campbell, who tied a bowl record with five touchdowns last year and is looking for six this year. At wide receiver, we've got OJ Washington and Jason Thomason. Catch all my passes for us. Not that they throw the ball a lot. A little changeup from the Naval Academy. How about Paul Johnson throwing Jared Bryant in there to play quarterback, the sophomore from Hoover, Alabama the best passer on the team and so uh, right away what do you think about that with a different look a good move uh, by Navy they were going to use two quarterbacks in this game Kahiako and Hada is actually in the backfield and a flag is up there might have been some movement on Navy as Bryant holds on to it and gets it up to the 35 yard line will be a first down pending the flag Paul Johnson won a couple of national championships at Georgia Southern running this offense, brought it up to Navy, and has had incredible success. Offside on the defense over 90. The five-yard penalty from the previous spot. The yardage makes it a first down. E.J. Raji, one of the two huge defensive tackles. He's about 340. Ron Brace goes about 335. And there's Kahiaku and Hada, number 10, you see that he is split out wide to the right, so Jared Bryant is the quarterback. And still. you always have the possibility of a double pass. And instead they give it to the fullback. And actually a fumble, and the ball is down on the ground, and it is recovered by Boston College. So the Naval Academy coming out we're here with a different quarterback, and they give the ball up. Matt Hall was the starter, but he 
lost three fumbles in his first 26 carries this year. So all of a sudden he lost his job and has another fumble in this football game. That is why he lost the job as Mike told you and he comes up with a huge fumble here. Ron Brace, one of the big defensive tackles, comes up with it and Boston College now very good field position. First and 10 from the 37. Andre Callender now is the tailback. And he gets his first carry over the right side. Callender down to the 33-yard line. Picked up four before Rob Caldwell made the tackle. Impact players, a couple of very talented linebackers in Tidwell and Mahoney and Keenan Little. And on the cornerback, the uh, cornerback rather, has a couple of touchdowns on the defensive side of the ball this year. I like the way they introduced Tyler Tidwell, the future president the United States. Boy, he's a very impressive young man, senior from Edmond, Oklahoma. As Ryan completes it, wide open was Tony Gonzalez, and Gonzalez picks up the first down after a nine-yard game. Matt Ryan, again, 13-4 and four as a starter, makes very few mistakes. A lot of people, when you talk to Boston College coaches, they say he's the best quarterback since Doug Flutie. And that is uh, saying something. He is the captain. A couple of tight ends now, but they hand it off to Callender, and Andre goes right up the middle and down to around the 17-yard line, picked up seven more. Him, you hit a good point there. Two tight ends. What that does is makes Navy balance their defense because when you have two tight ends, now they got to bring a linebacker up on a tight end. That's a good running formation for BC. BC with a huge weight advantage too up front against Navy, which has a 225 pound end in Ty Adams, only 225. Well, play action, Ryan through the air and he hits Mark Palmer, his fullback, and Palmer is muscled down around the 10. That's a seven yard gain and another Eagle first down. And Mark Palmer has caught 12 passes this year out of the fullback position, no carries running the football. Mm -hmm. So he's a blocker and a pass catcher yeah. coming out of the backfield. Good catch. And another first down. Palmer transfer from Utah where he played as a true freshman in 2003. So first and goal from just inside the 10 and then cut down was Callender. Jeremy Miles able to come up and make the stop, but he gets it down to the one yard line. Two tight ends again. Here you got two tight ends. You make Navy balance up their defense. All of a sudden you get a helmet on a helmet and Boston College will like that offense all day. A huge line and now Brian Toll number 16 is in the backfield. They call him first, call these situations first and toll. But uh, now it's going to be Ryan heading towards the end zone and Matt Ryan playing with that broken bone in his foot able to take it in for the BC score. And you can see why his team named him the captain because this guy with a broken foot is going to make this effort on the play action fake. Everything's covered. He wears a boot at practice. He didn't wear a boot on that touchdown. Great effort. Matt Ryan with his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Steve Aponavicious misses the extra point. His first missed extra point of the season. As Matt Ryan able to take advantage of Matt Hall's fumble, capping off the short drive as Boston College breaks on top of Navy, 6-0. Let this happen to you. You can trust us for a job done right. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. Every day, Progressive does something that's, well, progressive. They have this ticker that shows their car insurance rates and their top competitors. Right now on Progressive.com, you can see actual rates that people are getting. Sometimes Progressive is the lowest. Sometimes they're not. Hey, if they're this helpful when you're shopping for car insurance, Imagine how they'll be once you're a customer.
Jared here. Michael Strahan here. Subway Restaurants is known for tasty low-fat subs, like this six-inch Subway Club. Order a footlong, and it's still half the fat of a McDonald's Big Mac. But the real surprise, it's got twice the meat. Fills me up without slowing me down. Less fat. More meat. 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 More meat! A delicious footlong Subway Club. Less than half the fat of a McDonald's Big Mac, but twice the meat. Subway. Eat fresh. There are some crazy blades out there, so reach for the ultimate bomb. Replenishing aftershave bomb with Care Protec soothes and repairs the damage from shaving. Only from Nivea for Men. There's only one way out of this chamber, and that's down the pipe. Once you go in... What do you see? You'll die to get out. <laughs> the Descent, unrated now on Blu-ray and DVD. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center. Right service, right price. The Rose Bowl Game, presented by City, USC versus Michigan. New Year's Day on ABC. Hello, I'm Ken Walker, President and CEO of Monarchy Car Care Center. Oh, Ken, now this is something I should be doing. Listen. On behalf of more than 5,000 Meineke Car Care Center franchise owners, technicians, and staff, we are delighted... And so am I, George Foreman. We are delighted to welcome you to Charlotte, North Carolina, and the Meineke Car Care Bowl. Hey, all... is that where we are? We are all proud to be part of college football and to bring to you what we hope is an exciting game. Ken, it will be exciting. Sit back, relax with all of us at Meineke, <laughs> all of us at Meineke as we enjoy, enjoy the, game. the game. And it has been an enjoyable start. Frank Spaziani, the interim head coach, his first and maybe last head coaching stint here because they have hired a replacement, Jeff Jagosinski coming over, the offense coordinator from the Green Bay Packers. Boston College scoring drive, only had to go 37 yards after the Matt Hall fumble, and that tough guy, Matt Ryan, scored the touchdown. That was big, the fumble, because Navy gave up great field position. And Steve Aponovicius lost, or missed the extra point, excuse me, so it's 6-0. Reggie Campbell fumbled that kickoff momentarily, picked it up, and he's twirled down at the 12-yard line. Only a four-yard return for Reggie Campbell. So Paul Johnson, a little uh, change-up with his offense to start the game. We'll talk about it when we come back. that magical time of year. Get a special lease offer on an E350 sports sedan with over $2,500 worth of new standard features at the Mercedes-Benz Winter Event, now through January 2nd. There's never been a better time to get that Mercedes-Benz on your wish list. Here's a radically simple suggestion from eLoan. Spend too much money spreading the holiday cheer? Consolidate your debt with a home equity loan and pay one low monthly rate. Just call 1-800-TRY-ELOAN or go to eLoan.com. eLoan. Radically simple. Now how am I going to get... Fighting broke out overnight between right... free videos from all across the web. Music, news, movie trailers, and full-length TV shows. All in one place. The new AOL. See what's here for you. At Samuel Adams, we have 18 award-winning beers. We can't wait to make the next one. Every year, we bring out a new style of Sam Adams. And you can try the winning style in our Brewmaster six-pack. Yeah. We want to make the best of that style that an American beer drinker can get.
Golden Law. ESPN College Football, the Meineke Car Care Bowl, is brought to you by Meineke Car Care Center. Right service, right price. Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mbusa.com. And ESPN Game Plan. Buy your bowl game package on ESPN.com's Game Plan Online and catch over 20 bowl games live and on demand. It's a little street festival that they had in downtown Charlotte yesterday. Closed down part of North Tryon Street. And some of the Navy guys were there. Beautiful day yesterday. It's a little more cloudy today. As you take a look at the Navy band showing up here to show their support, but their team is down 6 nothing, and Jared Bryant is still playing quarterback for the Naval Academy, down 6 nothing to Boston College. Reggie Campbell goes in motion, and the pass is complete to the usual starting quarterback, and Hada, Kahiaku and Hada, rather. Dewan Tribble makes the stop after a three-yard gain. So Navy usually starting Kahiako and Hada. He had made five straight starts, but they come in today with Jared Bryant. What do you think of that move? Well, I think as a coach, you have time between the last game and the bowl game. Paul Johnson trying to give Frank Spaziani something to work on on the sidelines. And so he used Bryant at quarterback, and now Kahiako and Hada is indeed under center. Much more of your true option style quarterback. Bryant more of the passer. And he pitches it to Singleton, and Singleton is able to break free for a first down before Ryan Glasper makes the stop. Tim, when you look at the option and you try to figure it out, the four down linemen and the middle linebacker have the dive. The outside linebacker has the quarterback, and the pitch is in the secondary. They have to cover the pitch. Zervin Singleton picking up 12 yards and the first down. First down now from the 26. Kahiako and Hada again at quarterback. This time goes to his left, decides not to pitch. He hangs on to it, lost the ball at the end of the run. The Navy hangs on to it. Jamie Silva coming in to make the stop, but it's a seven yard gain for the midshipman. In the benefits of the option, neutralizes better players, shortens the game puts pressure on the other team's offense because all of a sudden you find out the first quarter's gone and they control the uh, game and the clock and rest your defense. Navy can come up with some huge chunk of time that they can burn on long drives as Eric Catani now in at fullback picks up a couple on his first carry. And if you ask any coach, they'll tell you, stop the fullback first. If you can stop the fullback, get him into the quarterback and the pitch man, you have to stop the inside game. And the fullback right now is number 36, Eric Catani, sophomore from Kirtland, Ohio, who did pick up the first down on his first carry of the day. Of the day. First down from the 37. And flags are down before that play can even get going. Offside on the defense, number 90. The five-yard penalty remains first down. That's the second time B.J. Raji has been offside. And so now here's Ryan Glasper with the B.C. defense. I'm Ryan Glasper, strong safety for Boston College. And for our vicious starting lineup, up front we have the two big men, Ron Brace and B.J. Raji, holding it down up the middle. At linebacker, we have lightning fast Tyrone Pruitt and the bone crusher Joe Lon Dunbar. In the secondary, we have the Bash brothers, Jamie Silva and myself, with DeWine Tribble balling outside that field corner. Tribble does a lot of balling out there. He has three interceptions. He's returned for touchdowns. Katani picked up about a yard on that last play. Ron Brace made the stop. And Glasper and Silva, the two safeties, they have really a tough job because they have to run the alley. Those are the guys involved mostly with the pitch guy. And there's a pitch guy getting it is Trey Hines. And Hines runs for the first down and more. Hines getting all the way down to the 41-yard line of Boston College. 18 yards and a first down. You have the option to get outside. Also, you have the pitch to get outside. Like normal teams run, they just pitch the ball to the tailback. All of a sudden, you're off and running on the outside. 
that will help the inside running game also. Hines, the fastest player on the Navy team, runs about a 4-4-40. Meanwhile, Tyrone Pruitt, the junior from Brockton, Massachusetts, a linebacker, is still lying down on the field back at the 44-yard line of Navy. One of the linebackers today, Brian Toll, sick, and they didn't know how much they could use him, so this would be a tough blow for BC. Yep, Robert Francois, the sophomore from Highlands, Texas, made the start for Toll, who's a little bit under the weather today. Frank Spaziani's team with a 6-0 lead, but as they look at Tyrone Pruitt, we will take a break. Meineke Car Care Bowl, the Eagles leading the midshipmen, but Navy's driving. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. Earn a college degree in the U.S. Navy. And proudly display your school colors. Navy, accelerate your life. with Tennessee Penn State in the Outback Bowl, New Year's Day at 11 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. Three incomplete homework assignments. Five movie trailers stopped midstream. Thirteen important phone calls missed. When you've got dial-up, you can miss out on so much. Now, you don't have to anymore. Not when you can get high-speed Verizon Online DSL for a really low price. And you can do so much more, like click and connect to the net in an instant. Talk on the phone and surf the web at the same time on the same line. Download photos faster than ever before. Just call 1-866-545-9322. That's 1-866-545-9322 to get Verizon Online DSL for about what you've been paying for dial-up and see what you've been missing. 32 photos of grandson opened. 347 favorite disco tunes downloaded. Phone, broadband, TV, Verizon. This telecast is available on ESPN HD, presented by Pioneer Plasma Displays. Bubba's Barbecue, one of the good places to go here in the Charlotte area. Hosting the Meineke Car Care Bowl, Boston College up on Navy. Six to nothing. Navy now first and 10 from the 41 of BC. Kahiako and Hata continues at quarterback. He holds on to it and then pitches in a terrific play. Reggie Campbell as Ryan Glasper just blew that play up. Safeties, we talked about them. They have to run the alley. What I mean by that is they have to check quarterback to the pitch. And Ryan Glasper right there. Reggie Campbell gets the pitch. Here's the fake. You can see the fullbacks covered. They have the quarterback. Glasper beats the block of Tomlinson to get in his uh, face of the ball carrier. Glasper, all ACC, honorable mention, dropping Campbell for the two-yard loss. Kahiako and Hada has to improvise and dances, maybe picks up a half a yard. B.J. Raji with the stop as we head down to the field and Jimmy Dice. Pam, I spoke with Frank Spaziani in that Boston College locker room before the game. And again, he reiterated to me his biggest concern was we were not able to simulate how Navy looks in their option offense uh, during practice. Now, they did use a guy named Flutie. Uh, that's uh, Billy Flutie, Doug Flutie's nephew, who's a freshman quarterback. He was the option quarterback for the last three weeks in preparation for this ball game. He said how quickly we adjust to the speed and the precision that Navy attacks us with is critical in this first quarter. Now on third and 12, Kahiako and Hata with the throw. He has a man open and he hits Jason Tomlinson. Tomlinson somehow out, able to gather it in for the first down. When you look at Navy, Kaipo has thrown 43 passes this year. 19 of 42 coming into the game. They're not a throwing football team. 
They throw on third down, but they want to run the option. Kaipo uh, gets his ball out here for the first down. Just, oh boy, just getting it over the fingertips of Dewan Tribble Tomlinson, 10th in Navy history. Rolling on the field with a catch. Receiver had his feet in bound. All right, they're going to review this. I was just saying Tomlinson, 10th in Navy history with over 1,000 receiving yards for his career. Pat Ritesic is the uh, replay booth guy today. He's a former Big East official and a really good official. So the ruling on the field is that it was a catch. It was third and 12. They got 12. So uh, we're sitting on a possible first down for Navy in college football. You only have to get that one foot in bounds, but they will take a look at it upstairs and let's take a look at it together. Jason Tomlinson looks the ball in. Foots down. Oh, easily. Easy. Well, that's a great Correct. job by Tomlinson. It was like he had crazy glue on the bottom of his shoe. A great Stuck job by it. Tomlinson. 15 receptions this year, one TD. Team captain at high school in football and basketball. Leaders, these Navy guys. Big leaders. time, and you see he is choosing to go into surface warfare. This is his final game for the Naval Academy. This should be a very short review, one would think. Tomlinson, the top receiver on the team, and came up with really a terrific catch. Let's get the official ruling, which should be that it was a catch. After review, it's confirmed that the player possessed the ball with his foot in bounds. It's a good catch. First down. <laughs> it was a good catch in more ways than one. First and 10 for Navy from the 31. This is the Meineke Car Care Bowl coming your way from the Bank of America Stadium in downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. Boston College taking advantage of a fumble, had a short 37-yard drive, capped it off with Matt Ryan's two-yard touchdown run. Extra point was no good, but the Naval Academy now is driving. First and 10 from the 31. They run that option. Kahiako and Hana going up top. He has a man open in the end zone. And he finds him for the touchdown. Navy's throwing the football. Tyree Barnes with the score. All week in practice, you hear a stop the option, stop the fullback, stop the quarterback, stop the slot back. What about the pass? Tyree Barnes, wide open, and that's what a running team will do. Ball you to sleep. Barnes with his sixth catch of the season and his second touchdown. Matt Harmon to give Navy the lead. So the midshipman with a terrific answer to Boston College breaking out on top. Drive down and get the score. A couple of big pass plays from this option offense. The last one coming to Tyree Barnes, and Navy has the lead. You guys run the double team a lot, right? Join us in March for ESPN The Weekend at the Walt Disney World Resort. Book your trip online today. And the Bears finish the season undefeated with a last second field goal from 46 yards out. Don't let this happen to you. You can trust us for a job done right. Monarchy Car Care Center. Right service, right price. <laughs> See all the wonderful toys at the Mercedes-Benz Winter Event, now through January 2nd, with a special lease offer on the ML350, an insurance institute for highway safety's top safety pick. There's never been a better time to get that Mercedes-Benz on your wish list. Now my credit card miles expired, but don't worry, Daddy's got a plan. Orlando, here we come! Is there meal service on this flight? Oh, yummy! Who wants some? Hang on! Bow weevils! <laughs> We should have switched to Capital One. Get Capital One's no hassle rewards with no miles expiration or in caps and no blackout dates. <laughs> oh, that's different. What's in your wallet?
Introducing Envy from Verizon Wireless. A phone, camera, multimedia center with full keyboard for instant messaging. Exclusively from Verizon Wireless. Sound Matters, the Cat Back Dual System Exhaust. Now available at Monarchy for only $350. Monarchy, right service, right price. Welcome back to ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week. Navy with a 7-6 lead over Boston College. Kaipo Noah Kahiako and Hada has thrown the touchdown pass to Tyree Barnes. Navy leading the nation in rushing this year, averaging 327 yards a game on the ground. Dead last in the country in passing offense. They had a couple of big pass plays on that drive, including the 31-yard touchdown pass to Tyree Barnes. Harmon with the kickoff taken in the end zone by Jeff Smith. And Smith, one of the best kick returners in the country, takes it out just shy of the 25-yard line. Anthony Piccioni with another special teams tackle. Let's go back to the TD, Mike. Going to get a post route, but watch both safeties right here. They have to freeze because of the run. They think maybe option. All of a sudden now, Tyreen Barnes gets behind Ryan Glasper and Jamie Silva for the easiest score. From 31 yards out, and you see the first touchdown pass in the last 10 quarters. Haven't done it since their 49-21 win at Eastern Michigan on November 11, three games ago. So now another flag coming down as Matt Ryan gets ready to run the offense again for Boston College. In the offense, number 89, the five-yard penalty, still first down. John Lloyd, one of the tight ends for BC, moving early. Pam, a team in transition. The head coach, Tom O'Brien, left. All of a sudden, you go through three phases as a player. The first phase, the shock of the head coach leaving, and he brought us here. I'll get into the other two after this play. Frank Spaziani, the longtime defensive coordinator, taking over for this game as Ryan completes the pass to L.V. Whitworth. And Whitworth gets about five yards, so he's back to the original line of scrimmage. Here is Frank Spaziani talking about the transition to this game. Our system has, has been in place. Tom O'Brien uh, is a tremendous head coach, and for 10 years, he put in a tremendous system. Uh, and, and that's one that our kids have bought into and our coaches have bought into. So there haven't been any program altering decisions that have had to be made. We're trying to take care of this game. Basically what I'm deciding is uh, chocolate or vanilla ice cream, go or stop, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm sure it's a little bit more complicated than that as uh, Whitworth picks up eight yards when they needed 10, so it'll be third and two coming up. In, in the players, the second part of this is then you name an interim guy. Frank Spaziani's in there. Could he stay? Could he take over? And the third thing is, once they name a new coach, then as a player you say, okay, what's he like? What system's he going to run? Is the assistant going to stay? Third and a long one as Matt Ryan throws for it and gets the first down. Tony Gonzalez, who Matt told us is definitely his go-to guy. When he needs a clutch catch, he goes to Tony. That time it works for six yards in the first down. I like what Jimmy Dykes asked him. He said, Matt Ryan, last play of the game, who are you looking for? You need a play. He said, I'm looking for Gonzalez. A lot of times quarterbacks won't answer that question. No. Sometimes they don't want to hurt other guys' feelings or tip it off, but he is not shy at all. Tony Gonzalez from Framingham, Mass. Has seven sisters back at home. As Ryan on the roll, he says he's not mobile, has a broken bone in his foot, but he is able to roll out and pick up five. Matt Ryan looks like a tailback today. <laughs> and now that boot may work. Maybe Jimmy Dykes is having trouble running right here, but Matt Ryan can run. Ryan with that broken fifth metatarsal, fifth metatarsal on his left foot. That's the really kind of your pinky bone extended down into your uh, foot. He will have surgery on it in January. Second and five for the Eagles, and he goes to his running back Whitworth again, and LV stopped a couple of yards short of the first down. Pam, both these teams went to the Lowe's Carolina Speedway. And I was out at practice when Frank Spaziani came back with his team. And he told him, he said, listen, don't judge Navy how they look. He said, they're going to fight you. They're going to play as a team. They look smaller. They are smaller. 
But all of a sudden, you can look at these guys and say, hey, they're really small. We'll knock them off the ball. It don't work like that. These guys are leaders, and they're class guys. They play hard all the time. L.V. Whitworth, after that carry, after that tackle, I should say, uh, got shaken up. One of the two really co-number one tailbacks, Whitworth, more the wear you down kind of guy Andre Callender the uh, the speedy guy number 32 they split time at the tailback position as he's gingerly helped off the field Whitworth LV stands for Lennox Valencia and there are the two headed two headed tailbacks Whitworth and Callender with you similar numbers see both of them can catch the ball out of the backfield but now Callender will be looked at with Whitworth going off with the injury. Both of them are juniors, and the coaching staff say they are interchangeable back there. Callender is indeed the tailback now on third and two. Couple of tight ends in for BC. Callender is fake too as Ryan rolls and throws. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jeremy McGown. McGown stepping right in front of the intended receiver to snuff out the drive. Bad decision by Matt Bryan. He could have run for the first down. All of a sudden, he sees his tight end. He tries to get the ball to him too late. McGown played this from the start. Here, sitting right here, moving over. Now steps in front of the tight end, picks the ball off. Ryan Purvis was the tight end they were looking for, but McGowan, the senior from Houston, comes up with his third interception of the season. Navy first and 10 from the BC 44. Kahiako and Hato gives it to his fullback, Eric Katani, who picks up a couple. I like what Paul Johnson, the head coach of Navy, said. Hey, he said, if we're in a race with BC, we'll lose. If we're in weightlifting with them, we'll lose. But as a team, we have a chance to beat them. In fact, the only team that Paul Johnson's club has beaten this year in Division 1A that has a winning record is East Carolina. So their schedule, Judge, third easiest or in the country. And now they're taking on by far the toughest team that they're trying to beat anyway in BC as Kahiako and Hata loses a yard on that play. Brandon Deska making the stop for the Eagles. A mistake by Kaiponoa. Kaheaku and Hada right here. He should have pitched the ball right here. They had a play on the outside. He kept the football. How did I do? That was pretty good, Mike. Okay. Way to go for it. Of course, everybody at Navy, including Kaheaku and Hada, said we could just call him by his first name, Kaipo. That's one up. Here on the end. Yep. Kaipo. He's a good buddy, Kaipo. Third and nine for Navy. And instead of throwing it, with a Give it off, and that's a first down. Eric Catani, the fullback, picked up 10 when they needed nine. All of a sudden, when you spring the fullback, everything else, they had a shot at him right here. They just did not do a good job of making the tackle. That was number 94, Herslick, Mark Herslick, a linebacker, didn't wrap up. Navy lost both its starting quarterback and Brian Hampton and its starting fullback and Adam Ballard, Ballard this season as that pitch was high to Campbell, but he was able to hang on to it and doesn't get anything. Larry Anom with the stop. So Adam Ballard, three 100-yard games this year, broke his right leg against Army in their last game. And for an option offense, you got to believe if you lose your starting quarterback and your starting fullback, that should be a huge deal, yeah, right? should be a big deal, but all the pieces work in this option offense. Kahiako and Hada taking over. He has thrown a touchdown pass in this game as the first quarter comes to a close. Navy with the 7-6 to six lead. They have the football, and they're going for more in the Meineke Car Care Bowl. The Rose Bowl game, USC versus Michigan, New Year's Day on ABC. <laughs> It's that magical time of year. Get a special lease offer on a C230 sports sedan with a powerful 2.5 liter V6 at the Mercedes-Benz Winter Event, now through January 2nd. There's never been a better time to get that Mercedes-Benz on your wish list. You 
love our burgers. And that's just the beginning. Introducing our premium age prime sirloin. Cut from the best of the best beef. Prime is what a steak lover lives for. Almost too tender for a knife, too juicy for words. And try our new fresh jumbo lump crab cake. All jumbo lump meat, nearly no cake. Uncompromising quality, incredible freshness. Yours always, Ruby Tuesday. Apparently, somebody was up late last night. Make that somebody's. And that's okay, because if you work hard, you play hard. Just don't look in the mirror, unless you're using Nivea for Men Revitalizing Lotion Q10. Q10 restores your skin, leaving it healthy and fit. Well, that takes care of your face, but don't forget about your eyes. Reduce puffiness and lose the dark circles with Revitalizing Eye Cream Q10. Nivea for Men. More evolved skin care. My name is Kaipo Noah Kaheaku and how to start and quarterback for the Navy Mission from Kapolei, Hawaii. To troops overseas, I'd like to say Mele Kaliki Maka and Haole Makahikiho. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. From the island of Oahu, Kaipo is a, tells us he, he likes to surf. He has not surfed, of course, surfing in Hawaii, very different than surfing near Annapolis uh, over in, uh, in Maryland off the, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. Very different. He's not done that yet. I think he'd find it very simple. Second and 10 now as he runs the offense. The pitch bobbled but then gathered in by Shun White. And White runs up close to yet another first down for the midshipman. Kaipo Noah, Hiva Hiva, Akahi, Kahiako, and Hada. That is his entire name. And he is a Filipi Filipino Hawaiian heritage. That middle name, Hiva Hiva, Akahi, means precious one. If Vanna White would have trouble with these. <laughs> Bows and everything else. Uh, there is Kaipo, uh, very charismatic, very neat young guy that we got to talk to yesterday. Running this offense now on third and one. Thrust in the spotlight. Brian Hampton's injury as Eric Katani, the fullback, gets the first down. Now, these two schools, in addition to being pretty good football teams, unbelievable graduation rates. The top two graduation rates in Division 1A or Bowl Series football at 98 and 96 percent, respectively. Uh, class operations, BC and Navy. And really, when you talk to the guys, we had an opportunity to do that yesterday. You can just tell that they're uh, very poised for the most part. Very good students. The pitch to Campbell and Reggie Campbell takes it all the way inside the 10-yard line. He picked up 16 big yards. They're having success pitching the ball out quickly, getting it on the corner. BC playing the option game, but all of a sudden you pitch the football out to the motion man, and he, he's right on top of you, fast. Campbell is very fast. He's the sprinter on the track team, said he ran a 10-8. That's his best 100 meter. Seven plays, all of them runs on this drive. Make it eight. Singleton for the end zone and the score. Navy with another touchdown. Serban Singleton, the junior from Decatur, Georgia, with his first rushing touchdown of the season, or make it his sixth rushing touchdown of the season. Really having trouble adapting to the pitch. 
and is his first of the season for Singleton. Carmen, extra point, good. So Navy that time, unlike the first drive, kept it all on the ground. And they're able to take it in. Zervin Singleton, an aerospace engineering and astronautics major with his first rushing touchdown of the year. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. Here we go. Turn the wheel to the right. That's the one. There is the deuce. Perfect. High five. How's it look out there? Good? Like when things are real easy? You're going to love what we've done to retirement planning. It's called My Plan from Fidelity. Retirement planning made easy. Smart move. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center. Right service, right price. It's the oldest domestic cup competition around. And throughout all of England, the players dream about holding one of the most famous trophies in soccer, the FA Cup. From local parks to the cathedrals of the beautiful game, thousands of teams fight for the right to be the chosen two on England's biggest stage. Don't miss the trauma. The FA Cup, playing this month on Dish Network Pay-Per-View. Everybody has that one friend. I ended up losing my apartment. Who never quite grew up. You're going to come home. You're going to stay with us now. Dupree, live with us? Dupree is making himself right at home. That's not good. No. You, me, and Dupree. Bye. Premiering January 4th on Pay-Per-View. Stay tuned after the credits for a hilarious alternate ending. What happened in there? It was so natural. So oh, Andy! Navy now with a 14-6 lead. A short field after Jeremy McGowan's interception led to the touchdown. Frank Spaziani in charge of Boston College for this one game as the interim head coach. As Tom O'Brien has moved up to NC State, he'll be their head coach. Here's a common link. Tom O'Brien, U.S. Naval Academy, class of 1971, and then for 10 years, the head coach at Boston College. He also was an assistant coach under George Welsh in, at Navy. And uh, Frank Spaziani taking over for this game as Tom O'Brien left earlier this month to coach at NC State. A yeah, team in transition when your coach leaves, it's a very difficult time for a player. Tom O'Brien, we will be speaking to him very shortly as he is uh, joining us via phone. He'll be with us after this kickoff. And how about Matt Harmon with the onside kick and Navy almost got it as it goes out of bounds. So Paul Johnson really rolling the dice in this game. He came out with a different starting quarterback. He threw the ball a couple of times on the first drive and now tries the onside kick. When you look at this, they had it right here. They had what they wanted. Boston College's front line took off before the kicker kicked the ball. Watch these guys right here. The front guys, they bail out. They're gone. They ha Navy had what they wanted. Couldn't control the football. Kevin Atkins was the guy that just bailed out. So Navy almost came up with that ball, but instead it will be first down from the 44 for BC. So the Eagles with good starting field position, but they trail this one 14-6. Ryan handing it off to Callender, and Callender maybe gets a yard. And as promised, we are joined now by Tom O'Brien, 10-year head coach at Boston College, now in charge at NC State. And Tom, thanks for joining us. Uh, first off, how weird is it to be watching this game on television? I don't think I've ever watched BC play on television, so this is uh, this strange for me. Tom, what have you seen in the first quarter that uh, that's happening in this football game? Well, I think, you know, defensively, you got to catch up to their offense. It doesn't matter how much you practice it. You know, the execution is obviously different once you get to game time. And I think that uh, 
they will defensively and offensively, I, I think DC will be fine. I know it, I know it's got to be tough, Tom, for you sitting there watching. You chose to go to NC State, but you leaving behind these players who you have a great relationship with. You brought them here. Well, I did, and they're great kids. And, you know, they've had a great year. Uh, you know, they've won nine games for the fourth time in five years and got a chance to win ten, which has only been done three times in you know, the history of uh, D.C. football. You know, they played eight bowl teams in the six and two against bowl teams this year. They beat the MAC champ, Central Michigan, who's won ten games. They beat BYU, the Mountain West champs, that won 11 games. So they've had a great year so far. And, uh, you know, hopefully for the seniors, you know, they can get that tenth win. And in their five years there, they have won 45 football games. That's a lot of games. Tom? Why did you choose to go to NC State? What did you see in that job? Well, you know, I had been at Boston College for 10 years, and if I was ever going to make a move, it you know, had to be in the next year or two. And when we played in NC State this year, and, you know, it's been documented, we got off the bus and looked at all the facility and changes they've done there. You know, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for me, and it was a great time to, to make the move. So, you know, if I was ever going to do it, now was the time to do it, you know. I'm going to miss those kids at BC, but I have to go back there and play there next year, so I guess I'll see them soon enough. But, you know, it's, a, it's just a great opportunity for me and my family. And Tom, I thought what you did with the coaches and the players, when you, you told the coaches, coach the game, don't worry about coming to NC State or don't worry about calling recruits, coach this game, we want to win this football game. Well, I, you know, as I said, you know, they got a chance to win 10 games, and I think that's something special if you could be, only be the third team in the history of Boston College football to win 10. You know, if i got to take a hit in recruiting or if i got to start off a little slowly, I, you know, my allegiance is to those kids right now until this game's over, and hopefully they can, they can win this football game. And they're doing a good job on this drive. Kevin Challenger with the first down catch, so they have it now at the 28. Dana Bible told us that he is going to be coming down to NC State with you. Frank Spaziani, still no word from him, but... Uh, uh, he's uh, he's someone who's, who's a little bit torn between staying at BC as Calendar gets the carry. Well, Frank and I have been coaching together for 30 years. And, uh, he's doing a great job. He's a great guy. But, you know, not everybody's going to be able to come. There's situations that, you know, beyond people's control one way or another, family situations. And, and I know that, well, you know, whoever stays will always be friends. And, you know, I hope most of them come. And, uh, you know, we'll find that out once the game's over. Tom, I have to ask you this. Did you, did you want to coach this game? Did you have the choice to coach this game or not? No, I chose not to. You know, I, I'm employed by North Carolina State. And, you know, I don't think that it would be right for me to, to be coaching Boston College being employed by North Carolina State. So, you know, when I took the NC State job, I told athletic director Gene DiFilippo I didn't want to coach it and that uh, he should choose who to the name head coach off the staff and uh, as I said I was going to leave all my coaches and you know the, the important thing is for them to win this football game and, and uh, you know they're trained well they, they know what to do they know how to play the game and you know Tony just made another great catch that he always does but uh, you know they're, they're getting back to this thing right now. And yeah, how about that Tony Gonzalez lost his helmet held on to the ball Brian Toll leaping and getting into the end zone. So Toll who is a linebacker comes in in short yardage situations Gets the touchdown, so uh, Coach O'Brien may be a good luck charm. Uh, that was a great drive for BC. Well, I hope so, and I hope they keep going. You know, it, it, it's tough rooting against my alma mater. You know, Chuck Gladchuck's done a great job there, and Paul Johnson certainly done a tremendous job. But, you know, I'm certainly rooting for the Eagles, and my two girls are there rooting on the Eagles today. So, you know, hopefully uh, BC and Frank will get his first win. All right, Steve Aponavicius with the extra point. Tom O'Brien, thank you so much for joining us. We'll let you get back to watching the game. And uh, best of luck to Coach O'Brien as he heads to North Carolina State. That was a great drive for BC. Right back in this game as Toll dives for the end zone. Sound Matters, the cat back dual system exhaust. Now available at Monarchy for only $350. Monarchy, right service, right price. You're not the same person I met online. What happened to the happy boy in the yearbook picture? <laughs> I told myself I would not leave this date crying. <laughs> Did you know chickens are the only thing that don't have nasal passages? Let's talk about something fun. How about magic? Tired of bad dates? Maybe it's time to try eHarmony. 
At eHarmony, we only match you with other singles who have been pre-screened for compatibility with you. So when you get to the first date, you know you have so much in common. Log on today and get your free personality profile. You feeling better? I'm getting there. But I do feel good that we have Aflac. Mm. Glad I asked about it at work. I'm glad it's helping pay the bills. Electric like bill. House payments. Even Michelle's education. Helps with just about any bills our health insurance doesn't cover. Aflac. Ask about it at work. this happen to you you can trust us for a job done right monarchy car care center right service right price ESPN College Football, the Meineke Car Care Bowl, is brought to you by Meineke Car Care Center. Right service, right price. eHarmony.com. Are you ready to fall in love? And Aflac. Ask about it at work. We've had some beautiful weather in Charlotte the last couple of days in this late December. Meeting between Boston College and Navy, a short field, 44 yards was that last drive. Set up by the onside kick, Brian Toll capping it off with a one-yard touchdown run, his 12th career rushing touchdown. Steve Aponovicius with the extra points, and now with the kickoff, and that one goes out of bounds. Aponovicius pressed into action when Ryan Oliver was suspended against Virginia Tech. Great story. He was uh, one of those who would sit up in the sit up in the stands and paint his body and cheer. And now he's the, the the starting kicker for Boston College. Here's today's Aflac trivia question. Before Paul Johnson, who was the last Navy head coach to win or post four straight winning seasons? I know this. Oh, Mike's going to go out. Tom O'Brien at Virginia. That's a, that's a huge hint for anybody yeah. not thinking about college His first football. name is George. All right, we'll have the uh, answer coming up. Not Washington. No, either. the other George W. And not the other big George W. Kahiaku and Hato in big trouble, and he goes down. B.J. Raji, one of those big defensive tackles at 6'1", 340, credited with his third sack of the season. Yeah. Raji, 340, going against Antron Harper, who's 245. That's a big mismatch weight-wise. Here he comes in your living room. Hide your refrigerator. <laughs> Roger Yale, all ACC second team this year. The junior from Washington Township, New Jersey, playing since he was a freshman, a true freshman. And Sean White takes the pitch, and he is off. White. One of the fastest players on the team gets it all the way down to the 17-yard line. Here's another thing that's important in the option offense. Your receivers have to block. O.J. Washington, number 80, is blocking on the outside. He springs the tailback. Here's the pitch. Watch Washington right there with the block. That's why the run back is running. White, the sophomore from Memphis, got 53 yards on that play. First and 10 now from the 17. Kahiako and Hadu holds on to it. And Hadu is tackled down by Ron Brace after a two-yard gain. But his Navy offense, number one in the country, averaging over 327 yards per game on the ground. And you see the rush yards now. 53 of those rush yards, though, coming on the second to the last play. The big run by White. Second and eight from the 15. Navy up one and looking for more. 
Campbell in motion. They pitch to him against the grain. And Reggie Campbell, the sprinter on the Navy track team, is stopped for no gain. Ryan Glasper coming up with another tackle. Yeah, Ryan Glasper and Silva have to run the alley. They have got to be the guys that fill inside outside on that pitch. Ryan Glasper, the senior from Southington, Connecticut, the next town over from Bristol where ESPN is located. He's a Willy Wonka guy, very <laughs> retro movie selection. You're familiar with that movie, right? Come I on. didn't see it. Oh, Willy Wonka on. and uh, I missed that one. Oh, okay. Third and nine now. Navy is three for three on third down so far today. Nahiako and Hata fakes the pitch, goes the other way, looking for the first down marker. He dives for it. Robert Francois coming in to uh, help with the stop, but there is a flag at the 15-yard line. Holding. Holding on Navy. Navy does so many good things on offense. They counter their best plays. Holding, number 79 on the offense. A 10-yard penalty. Repeat third down. Matt Pritchett, the senior from Grove City, Ohio, their left tackle. And they don't get penalized a lot. Only, on average, four per game. They don't make mistakes, and all of a sudden, when I talked about when you run that pitch play and you get in the tailback outside white and, uh, and those guys all of a sudden you countered the pitch play. Pitch plays going real well for you. Paul Johnson says, okay, we're going to fake him and uh, we're going to Kaipo is going to go around the left end. So instead of being close to a first down, now third and 17. Kayako and Hata for the end zone again, and it is brought down by Jason Tomlinson. He hangs onto it somehow for the touchdown. Kahiako and Hata with his second touchdown throw of the game, and Tomlinson was enveloped by BC defenders and still was able to bring it in. BC secondary not reacting to the football. Matt Harmon with the extra point. Jason Tomlinson, one of the best receivers in the history of Navy football in the top 10 in receiving yards. This is only his second touchdown catch of the season, but it's a spectacular one, and Navy extends its lead to 21-13. Why do we love football? Because it gives us the opportunity to show what we can do. Introducing the Canon Digital Rebel XTI with 10 megapixels and over 70 years of Canon innovation built right in. The Canon Rebel, America's favorite way to shoot America's favorite sport. continues today with the Alamo Bowl at 4.30, followed by the Chick-fil-A Bowl at 8 on ESPN. This is you after an energy drink. Unfortunately, so is this. Why do energy drinks make you crash? One minute you're wired up, the next you feel worse than before. The answer is the large amounts of sugar and caffeine. That's why you should try a new liquid energy shot called 5-Hour Energy. With 5-Hour Energy, you can leave grogginess behind and sail through your day without feeling jittery, tense, or... You know, that's because 5-Hour Energy contains a powerful blend of B vitamins for energy, amino acids for focus and better mood, and enzymes to help you feel it faster. There's zero sugar, zero net carbs, and only as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. The two-ounce shot takes just seconds to drink, and in minutes, you're feeling awake, alert, and productive. And that feeling lasts for hours. So if your energy drink makes you crash, switch to 5-Hour Energy. Hours of energy now, no crash later. Find out if 5-Hour Energy is right for you. It's available at these fine stores. Or for more information, go to 5hourenergy.com. 
Welcome back to ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week. Kaipo Noah Kahiaku and Hada had three passing touchdowns all season. He has two of them today. Jason Tomlinson, that was a third and 17 play, and they score on the 24-yard touchdown catch. And Navy surprising Boston College now up 21-13. Matt Harmon kicking away this time. Jeff Smith, the true freshman. Gathers it in inside the five, and he is tackled down just past the 20-yard line. 19-yard return. Jeremy McGowan, who has an interception today, made the tackle. Today's Affleck trivia question before Paul Johnson, who was the last Navy head coach to post four straight winning seasons? Michael? George Welsh, 1978, 79, oh, 80, and 81. Look at you all over that. George Welsh with great success at Navy, then went on to Virginia. And now Paul Johnson is doing it. First coach, however, to take Navy to four straight bowl games. First time they've ever gone to four straight bowls. Out of the backfield, fullback Mark Palmer with his second catch of the day. That's a nice nine yard gain up the right sideline. When you talk about Navy and the great tradition in one of the coaches, Buddy Green, the defensive coach, talked about the other day, getting the emails from Iraq and former Navy players that send in emails and talk about the football team, how much meaning there is and how much love for this university. As they stay in contact and Ryan goes down. Matt Ryan losing three yards. It was second and two and he is sacked down by David Wright. Buddy Green, the Defensive coordinator, and there he is now in his fifth season at Navy. And he talks about how he had extreme confidence in Paul Johnson, who took this job. And Paul Johnson told us that one reason why he took it, because everybody told him he couldn't win at Navy, and he said that's all he needed for that extra push to take it. He had to prove people wrong, and boy, has he done that. Third and four for the Eagles after the sack. Ryan, with all the time in the world, takes off. And won't get there. Good coverage by the midshipmen on the receivers. Keenan Little makes the stop as Navy comes up with another two-yard loss. It goes back again to what Paul Johnson has done. Buddy Green has sold his team on the back. If it's a race, we're going to come up second. If it's a weightlifting, we're going to come up second. But as a team, if we play together, we can win this football game. And they are so far up, 21 to 13. Johnny Ayers in to punt it away to Jason Tomlinson, who made that last touchdown catch for the midshipman. Ayers gets good air under that one. It's fielded by Tomlinson around the 26-yard line, and he's going backwards. Tomlinson, after the 48-yard punt, loses three on the return. Taylor Soleil with great special teams coverage. Before the game for Navy, when they run onto the field, Eddie Martin leading the way for the Naval Academy as he is a football player who has been uh, getting treatment for cancer. And he is on the field now with Jimmy Dykes. Well, Pam, Eddie Martin was actually diagnosed with cancer just prior to practice beginning this fall. First of all, Eddie, update us on how your treatments are going right now. Uh, my treatments are going well. Everything's uh, projected to finish up on time uh, pretty much around February. Going through chemotherapy every two weeks. Uh, your teammates selected you to carry the Navy flag out before every home game. How did that make you feel? Definitely made me feel uh, privileged and uh, continue to be a part of the team uh, throughout the whole uh, cancer treatment. When you were diagnosed with cancer, you told me that you actually had the option to withdraw from the Naval Academy and go home for treatments, but you decided to stay at the academy. Why is that? It never really crossed my mind to uh, leave my teammates at all. Um, basically, I started this uh, academy thing, and I wanted to finish up and graduate on time with uh, my classmates. You're a story of courage. How about them throwing the football real quick? What's up with that? <laughs> uh, I guess we <laughs> saved everything uh, for the end of the year. So, I mean, base is catching them by surprise right now. Hopefully, we continue to do it and uh, actually running the ball now. So, maybe we'll break this one. <laughs> you need to be a coach Sunday. Hey, congratulations on, on your courage and what you stand for right now, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. And also, Eddie Martin, you got to just wish uh, all, the, all the luck in the world of that young guy. 
we're so lucky in this country to have the Naval Academy, Army, Air Force, and the dedication and the leadership of these young men and women. So our, our country's in good hands. Reggie Campbell got the, the pitch, and there's Sam Mills, who is remembered in the Ring of Honor here, the great Carolina Panthers linebacker and coach who was stricken very early and died of cancer as running for the first down is the fullback Eric Catani as uh, Sam Mills a very beloved figure in uh, in this part of the country and we wish certainly all the best in the world to uh, to Eddie Martin that's great that they uh, continue to let him run the flag on the field that's quite an honor it must be give you goosebumps to see that when they do it up at uh, up at the Naval Academy and how about when he said I never entered my yeah. mind to leave my yeah. team yeah, these guys aren't quitters that's for no. sure and there was no way he was gonna let cancer do that first and ten for Navy they've scored touchdowns on their last three drives as Katani the fullback stopped by Tyrone Pruitt Pruitt back in Pruitt was out for a couple of series after he got dinged up earlier in the first quarter. Brian Hampton, the starting quarterback for Navy, a senior. When he played against Rutgers, he's a first-year starter. He blew out three major ligaments in his knee on this play, and that was uh, pretty much all she wrote. So Hampton went down with this injury and then entered Kaipo, Noah, Kahiaku, and Hada. But uh, Hampton, quite a leader himself, as Kaipo with the pitch to Singleton and Zerbin Singleton has broken quite a few big plays. He's already got a touchdown today. That one good for 25 more yards. Tim, you go back to the wide receiver stalk blocking, just being tall and getting in the way of the defensive backs. And that's making this option go. There's the blocks. Here's one right here by the wide receiver. So all of a sudden, here's another block. A good job on the outside by the receivers. Mahiako and Hada with the throw for the first down is O.J. Washington getting into the act. Washington, first year starter from Tacoma. And Navy doing a good job too. Everybody's touching the ball on this uh, offense. Somebody replaced Kaiponoa, Kaihaku in Hada with Roger Staubach. <laughs> They're throwing the football all that? over the place. <laughs> And they have not missed on a pass. Kahiaku and Hata four for four. Jared Bryant, who started the game at quarterback, is two for two. So they're perfect through the air. And there is the big fullback, Katani, spinning his way for a five-yard game. Your worst nightmare if you're BC and Frank Spaziani. They got the fullback going. They got the pitch going. They got the quarterback running. They got the pass going. They have everything going right now on offense. Navy with 81 passing yards already. They average 54 a game, dead last in the country, and they're already well past that here in the second quarter. The pitch again, this time taken by Shun White, and White is inside the 20, picking up four more yards. Kaipo Noah, the quarterback. You're going to take some hits in the option offense. Watch him right here. Fakes. Now he comes down the line of scrimmage. He takes a hit on every play and then pitches the ball out. Tough guy. And he's trying to lead him to another score. Navy takes a timeout. A minute seven left to go in the first half. They're on the 19-yard line. When my father was paralyzed in an accident, it inspired me to study neuroscience. My faculty mentors are outstanding, guiding my research on campus and at one of Boston's best hospitals. They've motivated me to strive for excellence and helped me win national academic fellowships. A Jesuit education teaches that knowledge should be used to help others. My dream is to bring science one step closer to helping people like my dad walk again. I am Melanie McNally, and I'm a student at Boston College. The United States Naval Academy develops young men and women morally, mentally, and physically to become officers and combat leaders of character for the Navy and Marine Corps. Start your journey at the United States Naval Academy. Welcome back to Charlotte, North Carolina. That is the Navy mascot, the goat. And Jimmy Dykes tells us that this is this particular goat's first ever football game. And he has been spectacular so far. 
Third and one for Navy. Kayako and Hata throwing again, and the first incomplete pass of the game for Navy going for O.J. Washington. He was covered by Dewan Tribble. What do you think about that call on third and one? I think it was a good call because they're going to go for an on fourth down probably. With their running game, Kaipo, Noah throwing to the corner, well defended. Trying to get the ball to O.J. Washington. Triple and good coverage. Triple with seven interceptions on the season. A very good cover corner. And they are indeed going for it on fourth and one with a minute left to go in the first half. Trey Hines in motion. The quarterback. Kahiako and Hata hangs on to it. I don't think he made it. The BC defense celebrating Nick Larkin, number 57, among those coming in. And the Navy offense trots off the field. That's a huge stop for Boston College. Pam, you're right. That's big. Throwing third and one, trying to catch BC sleeping. They sold out on the run here, stopped him. Nick Larkin with a good play, number 57. That was big. So going for it on the third and one, and then failing on fourth and one after the third and one pass as Andre Callender gets it, and the clock continues to run. Coming up on the Smith Barney Halftime Report, Reese Davis, Mark May, and Lou Holtz will join us from the studio. Remember the Alamo? They look forward to the Alamo Bowl, a little dome cooking for the Georgia Dogs, and looking ahead to the national championship game. Chris Leak leading Florida against Ohio State. That's a first down completion to Brandon Robinson, picking up 14 yards. Boston College has all three timeouts remaining. And one is taken with 18 seconds left to go. And Frank Spaziani has a tough job at halftime. His players looked like they're in transition. Uh, in not playing with the excitement that BC usually plays with. So Frank's going to have to settle this football team down and get them to play harder here in the second half because Navy's pulling out every gimmick, every play that they run in their playbook. They've come up with some big wrinkles today. Coming up tomorrow night at 7.30 Eastern, head coach Larry Coker leads his Hurricanes onto the field one last time as Miami takes on the Nevada Wolfpack. The NPC Computers Bowl on ESPN tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern, part of Capital One Bowl Week, also available on ESPN HD as Nevada tries to pull off this win. And remember, they're playing in what will be a 5.30 local kick in Boise, and you gotta figure it's gonna be a little bit chillier than what they're used to in Miami. It's called Larry Coker, a gentleman, and a, a very good football coach. He is uh, on his way out at Miami. Ryan on the roll. Nice play as he completes it up to Brandon Robinson for another first down, picks up 22, and stops the clock with 11 seconds left to go in the first half. Dana Bible, the offensive coordinator, trying to get some points on the board here. Matt Ryan has played well in the first half, except for the pick by McGowan. Going with a little pump fake. Ryan flicks it and completes it to Kevin Challenger, who breaks a tackle. McGowan finally gets him inside the 10-yard line. BC quickly calls a timeout, and with a second left to go, they can indeed try to score. Matt Ryan makes this play work because he scrambles and finds the open receiver. Now, here's where you have a situation where Frank Spaziani, Tom O'Brien's going right now. He can't make this decision. Do you kick the field goal or you go for the touchdown? I think you kick the field goal. Steve Aponavicius is their place kicker. His career and season long was a 36 yarder in his very first game against Virginia Tech. This one would be a 26 yarder. Now let's go back. He was uh, definitely a rock star. This was a prime time game on ESPN. And Aponavicius, not just his first collegiate game, his first football game. He was a soccer player in college. There are his parents, Ben and Jan, celebrating as their son had the time of his life in that game and then went up and celebrated. That's the section where, you know, he used to be up in the stands cheering with those guys. That's a great story. You know, I was thinking about Frank Spaziani. He only have a one-game contract. He can go 
make yeah. any decision <laughs> right. you want to. <laughs> and they're going to go for the field goal with one second left in the half. Aprona Vicious will have to wait it out as Navy calls a timeout. Aprona Vicious is perfect inside of 40 yard uh, of the 40, rather, and this will only be a 26 yarder for him. Later on today, you can catch two more bowl games on ESPN. First at 4.30 Eastern after us, Texas goes up against Iowa in the Alamo Bowl. Then at 8 Eastern, the Georgia Bulldogs face Virginia Tech in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. Those games, Alamo and Chick-fil-A on ESPN, part of Capital One Bowl Week, also available in high definition on ESPN HD and ESPN Radio. Iowa trying to right itself after stumbling to the finish line of a six and six season. There's one of the Navy fans. It's a hat. It's a good looking hat there, Mike. What kind of boat is that? Good it's a Navy question. boat. A Navy <laughs> boat. I don't know either. I think I know. Another <laughs> app line question. <laughs> Too many. 26 yard field goal. Steve Aponavicious. High snap. Taken down nicely and the field goal. So Boston College coming back. They were down 21-13 after the Navy touchdown. And Frank Spaziani, the interim head coach at Boston College. And the field goal, they went 71 yards in only 55 seconds. Let's head down to Jimmy. Coach, you lead the nation in rushing, but what's having uh, success right now throwing the football? What's determining that in the first half? Well, they're run supporting really hard and bringing a lot of guys, and we could have had more if we'd executed. They, uh, it's going to be a long game. We're going to have to uh, run the ball successfully, but if they double run support, we got to be able to throw it over their head. Your last possession, you give them the ball back. You go for it on third and one and, and throw the ball. What right. went into that decision? Well, they've been firing the corners. I thought maybe we could catch them for a cheap touchdown, and uh, you know, we didn't execute on fourth down. There's no excuse letting them go the whole length of the field with uh, 40 seconds left. Thanks for your time, Coach. I think they're going to discuss that when he gets into the locker room. How about Navy with 184 yards on the ground, 81 through the air. Matt Ryan and BC down 21-16 at the half. Let's go to Reese Davis, Mark May, and Lou Holtz for the Smith Barney Halftime Report. All right, Pam and... Probably the biggest thing that happened in the first half was the fact that Zerbin Singleton of the all Mayday team coming up large. And Kaiponoa Kueako and Hada, a 45% completion percentage on the year. They only thrown five touchdown passes as a team. We got two in the first half, Luke. Yeah, can you imagine how long it's going to take for him to sign autographs with a bad day? You just sign him Kaipo. <laughs> but I tell you this, uh, the one thing that the academy does with the wishbone is they cause the BC offense to become very, very impatient. And unless BC can do a better job stopping the run, they are going to lose this football game, Mark. I don't know if this is an audition for the Alabama job for Paul Robinson because he comes out, he starts a different quarterback, pulling out all the stops, going for it on fourth and one, has the lead, an onside kick, coming out, throwing the football. This is a different Navy team than we've seen the entire season, maybe just because it's bull week. Well, you know, Johnson talks about being true to his principles and running the option, but he'll also point out that when he was offensive coordinator at Georgia Southern, he had Tracy Ham, who was a great passing quarterback and a runner, went to a great career in the CFL. He's just trying to remind the people that he can throw He's the versatile. football. Mm -hmm. Coaches don't like to be painted into a corner and boxed into certain labels. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, you guys sure do bristle. See, I say that. Well, because, about a coach, it, you because, uh, because it wasn't true. People said, <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't even have a passing gear in my car because I hated to pass. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's all you just do what you can to win. So don't stereotype don't, me. Don't get me started on the <laughs> tempo again. Nice tempo without a passing gear. No air Still conditioning. <laughs> no door handle. On. Hey. Still to come on the Smith Barney halftime no report. I will do my best to regain control of this set. <laughs> Look ahead to the Alamo Bowl, which could be a dicey proposition, and so too, Chick-fil-A Bowl in Atlanta. This halftime report is brought to you by Smith Barney. Come to Smith Barney, where wealth works. Get ready for kickoff with Sunday NFL Countdown, 11 a.m. on ESPN. It must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. 
Here's a radically simple suggestion from eLoan. Spend too much money spreading the holiday cheer? Consolidate your debt with a home equity loan and pay one low monthly rate. Just call 1-800-TRY-ELOAN or go to eLoan.com. eLoan. Radically simple. There's no way to hide it. If you drive drunk, we will find you. Cops everywhere are stepping up enforcement and cracking down like never before. Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Sir, have you been drinking this evening? Sir, have you been drinking tonight? Make no mistake, you will get caught and you will be arrested over the limit under arrest. Football is a way of life. MTV's Two-A-Days Hoover High, the complete first season available now. You'll get all nine hard-hitting episodes on three DVDs and more. MTV's Two-A-Days Hoover High, the complete first season available now. Here's to men, to guys who want to spend more time having fun and less time in the men's room. And here's to Flomax. It's approved to treat male urinary symptoms due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. In one week, Flomax may help symptoms like frequently waking up at night to go, going often, going urgently, weak stream. Ask your doctor if symptoms are from BPH, not prostate cancer. Common side effects of Flomax are runny nose, dizziness, and decrease in semen. Upon standing a sudden decrease in blood pressure may occur, rarely resulting in fainting. So when starting Flomax, avoid situations where injury could result. To learn more, call 866-4-FLOMAX. Ask your doctor. Flomax could make a difference in one week. Welcome back to the Smith Barney Halftime Report. Navy trying to win his third straight bowl game for the first time ever. BC trying to run its bowl winning streak to seven. But the Eagles, they need to find that motivational button at halftime. Navy has a 21-16 lead at the break. Capital One Bowl Week continues on. Take you to San Antonio in the Alamo Bowl, Texas and Iowa, 4.30 Eastern time. That's coming up after the Meineke Car Care Bowl. Then the nightcap, Georgia and Virginia Tech in Atlanta. You know, Georgia got to play its bowl game in the Georgia Dome last year. That didn't work out so well against West Virginia, though Georgia had a big rally at the end of the game that fell short. I doubt there will be quite as much offense in this game tonight. A couple of stingy defenses between two teams that only met a couple of times back in the Great Depression era. Let's play a little take your pick right now, guys. Bulldogs or the Hokies tonight in the Chick-fil-A Bowl? I'm going with the Bulldogs. I think their defense is going to play outstanding. I think Quentin Mose is going to have a great football game. And surprisingly, I look for Georgia's kicking game to outduel Virginia Tech's kicking game. Outduel Frank Beamer and Beamer ball with special teams. I'm going with Virginia Tech. I don't know if Georgia can score more than 10 points in this game. Virginia Tech only gives up nine per game. Bud Foster, the defensive coordinator, I still believe he's one of the best in the nation year in and year out. You wonder when he's going to get mentioned for a head coaching job. Right at some now. Point. Yeah, well, you just did it. Last six games for that Hokie defense, they've scored as many touchdowns as they've given up. Just two touchdowns in each category. What about the Alamo Bowl, Texas and Iowa? I've got to go with the University of Texas, although I don't know with the loss of Gene Chizik. I don't know about Colt McCoy's health. I would like to go with Iowa because usually a team is disappointing during the course of the year and finishes poorly, plays very well in the bowl game, but common sense says Texas. I'm going with Texas in this game. I think even if Colt McCoy isn't 100%, he says he is, Greg Davis, the offensive coordinator, will make sure they go max protection. And it's going to be a lot of hut hut. Selvin Young, Jamal Charles, handing the ball off to their great running backs. They do have to protect him. Jevin Sneed is elected to transfer. It's left Texas very thin in the quarterback core. McCoy's dealt with that pinched nerve in his shoulder. Says he feels close to 100%. We'll find out when the Hawkeye defense gets after him. 4.30 Eastern time in the Alamo Bowl, Texas and Iowa. Still to come here on the Smith Barney Halftime Report, we'll look ahead to the national championship game. Chris Lee has turned into a leader. He could put a punctuation mark on his resume in a bit. Earn your first dollar by your labors. 
Get up early. Work late. Smile at challenges. Curse at idleness. Be true to your dream. Don't stop until you achieve it. Pass on your values, not just your assets. Working wealth wears no uniform and meets in no club. But you know who you are. Come to Smith Barney, where wealth works. If I had to describe our founder, Jim Cook, first thing I'd say is the guy's crazy. He pours his beer, then he gets it in his nose. He practically chews the beer. Don't use that. You look at him, what the heck he know about beer? He don't look like a beer person. I'm constantly walking back into the brewery, finding Jim sneaking tastes out of the fermenters. I am obsessed with the taste of Samuel Adams because beer's not a job, beer is my life. But we have a lot in common, I might add, because we're both good looking. Nothing we can do about that. Don't do it, man! But it's only a buck! This only costs a buck! KFC Buffalo Snacker, 100% breast meat, loaded with buffalo sauce. Buffalo for a buck? Buffalo for a buck. This tray's going to Buffalo? The 99 cent Buffalo Snacker, only from KFC. Where else can you find 100% breast meat smothered in authentic buffalo sauce for just 99 cents? That's right, just like the original KFC Snacker, it's still just 99 cents. Hey. Your dollar goes further at KFC. I was an offensive lineman for four years. I no longer wear pads, but I still carry a lot of weight on my shoulders. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. You're watching the Smith Barney Halftime Report. He was the man, the ultimate high school superstar quarterback. Threw a national high school record 185 touchdown passes for Independence High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. Number one player, hands down. Been offered a scholarship in junior high school by Wake Forest. Lou Holtz had him in a passing camp in Notre Dame. Looked better than all of the older kids. Chris Leak had all of the advertising going to Florida. What he had been missing until this year was a championship just been part of an evolutionary maturation process for the Gator quarterback. Here's Shelly Smith. When Urban Meyer took over as head coach at Florida last season, Chris Leak realized he had a lot to learn about playing quarterback in Meyer's complex offense. I think in any offense as a quarterback, you just have to get the terminology down and really understand all the intricacies of the offense and you have to get a feel for all that. Last year, getting all those game reps has really helped me out this season and what to anticipate. Leak made so much progress in the offseason that head coach Urban Meyer has let him help script the first 12 plays of each game. You're coming up with game plans, I mean, when you're able to uh, go out there, go out on the field with three plays uh, in your head and you're able to check off and, and do those type things that the pros are doing like you see Peyton Man do all the time. That really has helped me you know, grow as a quarterback and mature as a, as a young player. Leak in the shotgun. Leak standing back looking to throw. Fires the ball to the right side. He's got a receiver. There's Dallas Baker. He's in for the touchdown! Oh, my! I think he really earned his keep in Florida football history the last drive against our rivals in Tallahassee when he took them down seven straight completions and really took command actually went to me and said here's what I like and quarterbacks are supposed to do that. Meyer now compares Leak to his former quarterback Heisman Trophy finalist Alex Smith who also blossomed in his second year with Meyer leading Utah to an undefeated season in 2004. I don't know if you get the Fiesta Bowl and I make this comment. Uh, our offense coordinator and myself, we could have went, grabbed a hot dog and a Coke, and he would have called the game. That's how good Alex Smith was. Chris is at that point now where he's very involved in the play selection, which is what you want your quarterback to be. The things I see now uh, when I'm out there on the field, the things I can recognize, I can come up to a line, recognize the blitz, recognize defenses. Uh, as a young player, you can't do that. That really has helped me like a mature as a quarterback and understand situations and just really keeping, keeping the offense, keeping my team in position to be successful. Nobody's ever doubted the physical skills of Chris Leak, but he had the reputation, it seemed, among some of his teammates and even some of his coaches and the prior staff in this one as being a little bit of a loner, kind of quiet, 
but he's sort of taken charge of this team now, and they, they seem to have rallied behind him, Mark. I think Tim Tebow, the freshman quarterback, really brought out a lot of his personality because usually he's sitting in a room watching game tape, breaking down defenses. That's what's fun to Chris Lee. But down the road, this is going to pay off big time for him. The NFL scouts look at him. Yes, he doesn't have the measurables at six foot five, can throw every pass, make every ball, but he gets the job done, has a great arm, but it's his football intelligent that they're going to be impressed by, how smart he is, how he can get the job done, how he can read defenses, and the way that he's progressed year to year to year at Florida has been very impressive to me. But when he came in as a freshman and a sophomore, all the players are, let's get some pizza, let's go meet some babes. He's like, you guys call that fun? Let's go get some pizza, let's go watch some game film, break down some tape, that's fun. <laughs> Well, I remember when we had him in camp and he was in the ninth grade and there wasn't any doubt. He threw better than anybody in our camp and that included the corner route, which is the most difficult pass to throw. But also, when he signed with the University of Florida, I'll never forget, he said, I'm coming to Florida to win a national championship. And he looked in that camera, said, all you other prospects, follow us to Florida so we can win the championship. That's been his goal. That's been his purpose. That's been his focus. That's been his mandate. And now he has a chance to fulfill it couple of things if they do win it then the current Gator staff probably ought to send Ron Zook a thank you note yes. for getting him to Florida absolutely and secondly you had passing in a camp Oh, I want to tell you right now, <laughs> hey, you know, he you step hey, 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 you get those pro scouts on here and they'd say, don't go to Notre Dame. I never play for Lou Holtz when I was quarterback. Hey, you won't throw the ball. That hurt you. That hurt you in recruiting. I'm trying to help all schools here. You see how I did that? Just I took one, the little one little I took the little <laughs> pointy stick and I just jabbed it right in the cage right there. <laughs> Chris Leak going to lead the Gators against the Buckeyes on January 8th and try to get Florida a national championship. Lou, now see, you run the ball with an all mayday running back. Zerbin Singleton first touchdown of the season. Get an all mayday patch or something. Navy on top of BC 21-16. They call it the season of hope, the season of joy, the season of light, when parents seem more like children and children more like angels. And on behalf of your good neighbors at State Farm, we want to wish you and yours all the hope, joy, and light the season has to bring. Sadly, many deserving online videos go unwatched every day. Without you, music videos, news clips, full-length TV shows, and many other worthy videos will never reach their full potential. Fortunately, there's a solution. For just zero cents a day, you can bring a quality online video into your life whenever you want. Make a difference. Just click play. This message brought to you by video.aol.com. It's the oldest domestic cup competition around. And throughout all of England, the players dream about holding one of the most famous trophies in soccer, the FA Cup. From local parks to the cathedrals of the beautiful game, thousands of teams fight for the right to be the chosen two on England's biggest stage. Don't miss the trauma. The FA Cup, playing this month on Dish Network Pay-Per-View. Homeowners, need cash? You need to know about the no-closing-cost home equity line of credit from Countrywide. Unlike many lenders, with Countrywide, there's no application fee, no credit reporting fee, no appraisal fee, no underwriting fee, no closing costs. So you could use more of your loan to pay off credit cards and lower your bills. The no-closing-cost home equity line of credit. No one can do what Countrywide can. Call now and see if you qualify. Call 1-800-641-9844. This halftime report is brought to you by Smith Barney. Come to Smith Barney, where wealth works. After you ring in the new year, ESPN has you covered on Monday. Start your day with College Game Day, live from the Rose Bowl at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Then the Outback Bowl at 11 Eastern. Joe Paterno will try to win his record 22nd bowl game at the age of 80. From 80 to 880 at noon on ESPN2, Bob Knight is on the brink of history. Will victory number 880 come against the Lobos in Lubbock? 
At 1, ESPN on ABC presents the Capital One Bowl, a pair of hard-hitting, hard-running teams, an SEC Big Ten matchup between Arkansas and Wisconsin. And that's followed at 5 p.m. Eastern time by the granddaddy of them all. The Rose Bowl game presented by City, USC taking on Michigan. New Year's Day, don't have to move. It's all on ESPN. A couple of basketball scores. UConn undefeated on the road in Big East play against West Virginia. It's on ESPN2 right now. Huskies are trailing 33-24. Hey, college game day basketball starts next week. We'll see UConn on the road at LSU. We're going to trade one Notre Dame legend for another one. Self-promotion. Well, I said I'm going to uh, trade one Notre Dame legend for another one. I'll trade Holtz for Digger, and I'll have... Oh, I'm not, I'm not in Digger's class, I want to tell you. Well, it takes two guys to keep Digger in line. I'll have Bill and Hubert Davis. It only takes May to keep you in line, but May's bigger. Arizona's on top of Stanford, 48 to 38. Some news and notes. Tiger and his wife expecting the couple's first child this summer. Tiger, of course, extended that vacation he's going to miss the Mercedes championship to start the season now report is saying that the Falcons are looking at possible replacements for Jim Mora perhaps as predicted by Lou Holtz earlier this week well he may be going to Alabama well we'll see Brett Smith wide receiver from Tennessee declared ineligible for the Outback Bowl New Year's morning against Penn State coming up second half of the Meineke Car Care Bowl Navy's thrown a couple of touchdown passes. Jason Tomlinson grabbing that one in traffic. Midshipman up by five. If your wealth isn't working for you, then neither is your financial advisor. Smith Barney Financial Advisors have, on average, 16 years of industry experience. We don't sell our own mutual funds, so we can offer independent advice. And only Smith Barney Financial Advisors have direct access to the depth of Citigroup's global resources. Experience, independence, depth. Come to Smith Barney, where wealth works. Feeling that big cold all over your body? Immerse yourself in total cold relief with Alka-Seltzer Plus. Liquid medicine that speeds relief to every inch of you for big relief fast. Alka-Seltzer Plus liquidates your big cold all over. Also available in liquid gel and new liquid. Hey, neighbor. Hey, buddy. Yeah, mobile Clean 5000, huh? This here stuff's the real deal. It protects for 5,000 miles. Tougher men demand a tougher oil. Tough stuff. Mobile Clean 5000. It's the only conventional oil tough enough to guarantee protection of critical engine parts for 5,000 miles. Mobile Clean 5000. Seriously, tough oil. Welcome back to ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week. Welcome back to the Meineke Car Care Bowl. The second half about to get underway in Charlotte, North Carolina, and a surprise so far as we get ready for the third quarter. Navy is leading Boston College 21 to 16. Pam Ward joined by Mike Cocker. Jimmy Dykes is here as well, and it's been a surprising first half in more ways than just a score. Everything is topsy-turvy. Up is down, black is white. Everything's different. You have Matt Ryan running the football, Rather than throwing the football, here he fakes, and all of a sudden, a uh, broken foot, he runs into the end zone, and then you got Kaipanoa. He's throwing the football. Usually you figure he's going to run it, run the option. He's thrown two TD passes here to Jason Tomlinson. He has also thrown one to Tyree Barnes. There are the statistics, maybe with only seven pass plays, but two of them have gone for touchdowns. Coming into this game, Navy had only thrown five touchdown passes all season, and they have thrown two of them so far today. Kahiako and Hada, their quarterback, they actually, actually started Jared Bryan at quarterback, and they came out throwing in their first possession. So Paul Johnson, their head coach, with a couple of uh, wrinkles, 
had a few weeks off since they played Army and decided to tweak the, some things and uh, caught D.C. off guard. I'm going to give you some things to look at here in the first half. Go spend all your time to design to, uh, to stop them, and I'm going to bring some more wrinkles here in the second half. We will see if maybe calms down and settles into its option offense. They are the leading team in the country in far rushing offense per game. But they've mixed it up nicely today, and we are underway. Reggie Campbell slips down after he gets the kickoff, and Navy will start from the 10-yard line. Let's head down to the third member of our team, Jimmy Dykes. Pam, I spoke with Frank Spaziani as he came out of that Boston College locker room. He said the biggest problem in the first half was a lack of spark. He said, we're in position to make plays right now. We're just not getting it done. I said, how did you address that lack of spark at halftime? He said, I told him this. I know we're in a coaching transition right now. It's your team for the next half. It's all on you guys. We're doing all we can do as a coaching staff. You decide how you want to finish this season. Pam? All right, Jimmy, and Frank Spaziani, for those of you just joining us, is coaching the, inter the interim head coach, but Jeff Jagosinski signing a five-year contract. The Packers offensive coordinator will take over Boston College once the NFL season is over, and Navy on the pitch. Zervin Singleton, and Singleton steps out of bounds close to the first down marker. Singleton was one of seven Navy players to have at least one rush in the first half. Yeah, they were spreading the ball over Around, but I, I can't get over the way the wide receivers are blocking downfield. They're tying up both corners. Ingham, number nine, the triple, number 27, getting tied up in the box. Wide receiver blocking so important in this option offense. Tomlinson with the touchdown catch today and also doing a great job blocking as Singleton ran for the first down. So it's first and 10 from the 20 for the middies. Ahiako and Hata with the pitch, this time going to Reggie Campbell. And Campbell, who has been a big play guy his whole career at Navy, picks up 11 and the first down. Glasper with the stop. Here's the other thing you see, Pam. Paul Johnson knows this offense. He's had a halftime to adjust to what BC's doing on defense. He's going to make some change-ups in this offense in the second half. Campbell has about 14 family members here, parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents. He is from Sanford, Florida, as Paul Johnson looks on with a wonderful job he has done now in his fifth year at the Naval Academy. And on that play, a loss of a yard as Trey Hines goes down, collared down by Jolon Dunbar. Yeah, Jolon Dunbar was recruited out of Syracuse, New York by BC. They got him away from Syracuse. He was a running back in high school. And recruited originally as a running back at Boston College. We asked him what his favorite food was. He said, white rice. Let's throw some butter, a little salt and pepper on that sucker, and I'm ready to go. Plain taste and a really good football player. Dunbar from Syracuse going to BC. The pitch. And another big run for Sean White all the way down the far sideline. And he is finally pushed out of bounds at the 23 by Larry Anam. But that's a 47-yard run. And Pam, Paul Johnson has come out here in the second half. And he's run five straight option plays. Trying to get the ball outside. Here's the fake to the fullback. All of a sudden, the pitch is out. Look at the... All the uh, wide receivers blocking. That's why the springs for big yardage. White already with 113 yards on the ground and only four carries. He had a 53-yard run that set up a touchdown earlier in the game. And that's a big old hit. Singleton say hello to DeWan Tribble as he just dropped. Hey, Singleton's going to go back to the huddle and say, hey, you got wide receivers doing a great job, but block Tribble. It's the real speed replay. Triple at 5'9", 190. Singleton about 5'8", 164. And Triple, three of those seven interceptions returned for touchdowns on the season. Two-yard loss on the play, second and 12 from the 25. Ayako and Hada to Campbell. And Campbell jukes his way down inside the 20. Picked up eight yards. Dunbar with the stop. 
All right, Mike, how do you defend this option? Well, the front four and the middle linebacker, they have the dive. Now, if once the dive's complete, you can help on the quarterback. The outside linebackers have the quarterback. The secondary has the pitch. The safeties will work the alley. They'll work quarterback to the pitch, but that's who has responsibility in the base defense. And we talk about assignment football, right? That's assignment what it is. Assignment football. Maybe five for six on third downs today. This is a third and four. Ahiako and Hada going to go to the pitch guy again. And it's Sean White, White running for another first down for the Naval Academy. I, I was going to talk about Reggie Campbell on this play because he carries the football, but all of a sudden he blocks on this. It comes out and gets a key block, Reggie Campbell, to open up the play on Ryan Glasper. And Campbell, we met him yesterday, Michael, and he is listed as 5'6", 165, and he might not be 5'6". He is a little guy, and one reason why he wasn't recruited by the big schools down in Florida. As White gets it again, and White gets it down about a yard or so to the 10-yard line. Reggie Campbell, the junior from Sanford, you have a sprinter on the track team, once ran a 10-8. It's on the 100-meter and 4 by 100 track team at Navy. And you see he is a powerful little guy. He can spot 460 pounds. And he is really a big play guy in his career, averaging about 8.5 yards per carry for the Naval Academy. Second and nine now from the 10. He can get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Here's Campbell going over the left side. And he is met about a yard downfield by Joe Lon Dunbar. Cam, if they list him at 5'6", <laughs> what does that mean? 5'4". And I'm about 5'4", 5'5", four. Five, five on my best days. He's, he's and Reg and I were looking each other in the eye. Five, it was kind of cool. Four. <laughs> what a player he is. Reggie Campbell scored five touchdowns last year in the poinsettia bowl against Colorado State. That ties an NCAA record. Just an explosive, exciting player, number seven. And when you want him to block, he'll get a block for you. Third and seven for Navy. From the eight. Got to get to the one to keep this drive alive, and they will not do it. As Katani, the fullback, lost the ball momentarily, but Navy hangs on to it, and here comes their field goal unit. Uh, Paul Johnson knows he wanted seven on this Tried to sneak the fullback in there, Katani, but Frank Spaziani's defense, front four, stopped the fullback. Matt Harmon in to attempt his first field goal of the day. It is a 22-yarder. Maybe chewing up over five yards in the opening drive, five minutes in the opening drive of the first half. Capped off by Harmon's 22-yard field goal. So Navy extends its lead to 24-16. George Foreman is in the booth. How about that? George. The heavyweight champ going to join us when we come back. And the Bears finish the season undefeated with a last second field goal from 46 yards out. Don't let this happen to you. You can trust us for a job done right. Monarchy Car Care Center. Right service, right price. Nice work on these grilled stuffed Fritos, Pete. Mm, yeah, double beef fiesta salsa, delicious. Mm. Super delicious. And only a buck ninety-nine. Only a buck ninety-nine. This is from the guy who claims he dated Carmen Electra. And dumped Carmen Such Electra. A oh. liar. Pete. I miss you. I miss us. Take me back. I love you. It's true. Taco Bell's big tasty grilled stuffed burrito with double the beef, three cheeses, and grilled to go. I mean, seriously. To get unbelievable taste for an unbelievable price, think outside the bun. <laughs> Kids, we're going to visit the land of our ancestors. Ireland? No. Credit card miles expired. Think more distant relatives. This is great! Hey, it's me, Cousin Bob! Going down. We gotta switch to Capital One. Get Capital One's no hassle rewards with no miles expiration, no earn caps, and no blackout dates. See, kids, first class all the way. Something smells good. Oh, no, 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 no. Sound Matters, the cat back dual system exhaust. Now available at Monarchy for only $350. Monarchy, right service, right price. Over the last 100 years, 
Millions of NCAA student athletes have gone pro in something other than sports. This was before the game. Navy now leading BC 24-16 at the Meineke Park Care Bowl. George Foreman greeting some of the midshipmen who have come up for the game. And look at the smiles on the middies' faces. They were thrilled to meet George Foreman before the game. And we are very thrilled and uh, happy to have George in the booth. How was that uh, before the game being on Whoa, the field with those that's guys? that's a thrill. Those young people, that's the future there. That's that the is. country. George, did you play football? I tried playing football. I was good in school, as a matter of fact. I stopped because it's, it hurts too much. <laughs> but you're, you're a boxer, though. You're going to tell football hurt more than taking one in the chin? Or? Yeah, they had sucker punches in there. Sometimes they, I, I got, got uh, taken advantage of by pulling tackle one time. They just cleared the way, going for the quarterback, and out of nowhere, I start asking two questions. Where am I and what hit me? <laughs> right. George, where's the grill? Yeah, you know, we've sold over 100 million grills wow. now worldwide so it's a famous grill I wish I had it here I could fix something to eat for you <laughs> Boston College down in this game as Matt Ryan tries to make something happen and he throws it and it is almost intercepted by Rashawn King so uh, maybe continuing to win in this football game so your football career ended rather abruptly then huh? right but you know what I'm watching a good football game yeah. today I had no expectations of this this is great Two George, competitive teams. George, you named all your boys George. Yeah. Why did, did you do that? Well, you let Muhammad Ali hit you and see how many names you're going to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but he they all come with a good when, one. You, when you say George, they all come, right? I'm just happy I can remember that. <laughs> And that is a first down play for Boston College. Tony Gonzalez gets it around the 40-yard line. Did you have a favorite team when you were growing up? I've always liked the, the college football, of course, USC. All right, number one, and I grew up watching USC. I like, love those teams uh, across the California teams in Texas. Oh, Texas. Yeah. Tell me about it. George, you're a minister, right? Yeah, the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ for over 30 years now is coming up. That's what I've been doing. And my favorite sermon is a good lunch on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That'll cure a lot of ills, I think, a good lunch on Sunday. Boston College continues to carry the ball. Now, uh, George Foreman, of course, you, you won the heavyweight championship when you were 45 years old, which is which is, and by the way, you look like you could still go a couple yeah, rounds. Yeah, I told my wife as much. I said, look, I'm coming back at 55. <laughs> I can still do it. Yeah? She said, oh, no, you are not. I said, oh, yes, I am. Nobody tells me what to do. Well, I'm past 55. George. She told me what to do. Rocky Balboa came back at 60, right? You know? Wow. Ah. And it's strange because uh, Stallone stopped me in a ring one day and said, you know what, George, I've got to go back and do it. Another Rocky because of what you've just done. At the age of 45, really? I'm still fighting at 50. Still fighting. That's great. So it's not, it's not unrealistic what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Brandon Robinson with that last catch. So you inspired Sylvester Stallone to make another Rocky movie. I, I think so. It had a lot to do with that and uh, the price of a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I think that <laughs> more. <the> movie. <laughs> All right, George Foreman, and you have a tie-in also the Meineke Car Care Bowl with the Meineke Company. Yeah, so for been a good 13 spokesman. years I've been their spokesperson. Most wonderful associations I've had in my life. They really try to get out there, as you can see, associate with yeah. young people in the future. Yeah. They couldn't have a better spokesman yeah, than George so Foreman. All right, George, thanks so much for stopping thank by. It's you. been a pleasure to thanks, meet George. you. Thanks, George. All right. George Foreman, uh, one of the great heavyweights of all time. As Boston College, while George has been here, has been driving down the field. Andre Callender taking it down inside the 20. And really, Mike, he looks great. He's Goodness. solid, too. Oh. Yeah. I figured I'd punch him a couple times no, here. And, but do uh, no, he just, he's solid. He might be bigger than any guy in the Navy he team. Is. Third and six, big down coming up for Boston College. Ryan with that broken bone in his foot. He's a gamer as he just runs and slides for the first down. Rob Caldwell coming up with a stop. But boy, this Matt Ryan's a tough kid. Matt Ryan is picking up first downs with his legs. Broken foot and all. He knows nothing's open, tucks the ball, and doesn't slide, takes the hit. 
Well, BC with a good response to Navy scoring on the field goal on their first possession of this half, but Ryan zips that pass behind his intended receiver, Brandon Robinson. Good pressure by Navy. Rob Caldwell, the linebacker. Caldwell, one of the captains on this team. They say he really is a, a, a guy, student of the game. If he has a spare minute, which in the Naval Academy, you don't get a lot of those, he's in there watching film. Second and 10 now for Ryan from the 12. Matt with plenty of time, steps up, throws it, it's Paps tipped and intercepted. Clint Sovey with Navy's second pick of the game. This one coming inside the five yard line. So Matt Ryan making great decisions all year under pressure there by or from David Mahoney with his second mistake of the game. Jerry McGown has an interception. Now Clint Sovey does to snuff out that eagle drive. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. The final days of the Pontiac Red Tag event is the time to find Pontiacs designed with power, impressive fuel economy, and the best coverage in America. And now find them tagged in red. And the price on that tag is the price you pay. The Pontiac Red Tag event. Your last chance to get the best factory to dealer incentives of the year, but only until January 2nd. See some red, save some green. Here's a radically simple suggestion from Elon. If your adjustable mortgage rate keeps rising, maybe it's time to call Elon at 1 800 Try Elon or go to Elon.com for a fixed rate mortgage with one low monthly payment. Elon, radically simple. And college football, the Meineke Car Care Bowl, is brought to you by Pontiac. Vote for the Pontiac Game Changing Performance of the Year at ESPN.com, keyword Pontiac. A $100,000 scholarship is on the line. E-Loan. For home, auto, or equity loans, go to eLoan.com. E-Loan. Radically simple. And Olivia. Redefining high debt. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the Lowe's Charlotte Motor Speedway. Monarchy Car Care Bowl Navy with its second interception of the game as Clint Sovey picked off Matt Ryan. We'll take a look at that pick in a minute, but Navy starts first and 10 from its own seven after the interception. Nahiaku and Hano with the pitch, and Zervin Singleton breaking free. Singleton has had great, some great carries today, takes that 22 yards. Now let's go back to the pick, Mike. Sometimes when you see something, it's not what you see. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna stop it right here. All of a sudden, Matt Ryan sees an open receiver right there. He doesn't see Solby behind the official. All of a sudden, he said, I'm gonna throw the football, it's picked off. Clint Solby with his second interception of the season as BC had a good drive going until the interception. Pull back off the dive, that's Eric Catani, and he doesn't get much at all on first down. Sophie on the phone talking to the folks upstairs, and there's Matt Ryan. Said, hey, I didn't see him. 
He was behind the umpire. Ryan Purvis, number 80, the intended receiver. So it's now second and nine for Navy. They up, are up 24-16 over 23rd ranked Boston College. Kahiaku and Hato gets away from the initial tackler and picks up about a yard. Austin Giles coming up to make the stop. The Lowe's Motor Speedway here in Charlotte. On Thursday, both teams went out there. There's Paul Johnson looking a little uh, skittish maybe. I certainly would be. And a lot of the players went in there. They had a tire changing competition with the coaches. Frank Spaziani going against Johnson. And a lot of the players said it was a thrill of a lifetime getting in those cars. Kahiaku and Hadu. Or Hata, excuse me, throws it behind his intended receiver. That's Curtis Sharp. Navy with a couple of touchdown passes in the first half as Kahiaka, Kahiaka in Hada. I'll start calling him Kaipo in a second. Was <laughs> Kaipo. being pursued, and Kaipo had to get rid of the football. And here is Navy's first punt of the game. Yeah, if you're the punter for Navy, you don't get much action because they usually move the ball down the field. Barely getting enough plays to let her. So the first punt of the game, DeWan Tribble waiting back for Greg Vitetto's punt. Greg a walk on, a junior from Corpus Christi, Texas. And fair catch, Boston College will take over at the 33 yard line after the 35 yard punt. That's Frank Spaziani, the interim head coach for Boston College. When we come back, Gene DeFilippo, the Boston College Athletic Director, will be joined in Virginia Davis. NCAA fans are now being rewarded with $100,000 in scholarships from Pontiac, the official performance machines of the NCAA. Go to any Pontiac dealer and ask for a scholarship certificate with a unique code. Enter your code at Pontiac.com slash scholarship for your chance to win a $50,000 scholarship. Plus, you could instantly win one of 10 $5,000 scholarships, all to help you or your family pay for school, but only if you get to a Pontiac dealer by January 2nd. battles Wisconsin in the Capital One Bowl New Year's Day at 1 Eastern on ABC. College football lives here. Three incomplete homework assignments. Five movie trailers stopped midstream. Thirteen important phone calls missed. When you've got dial-up, you can miss out on so much. Now, you don't have to anymore. Not when you can get high-speed Verizon Online DSL for a really low price. And you can do so much more, like click and connect to the net in an instant. Talk on the phone and surf the web at the same time on the same line. Download photos faster than ever before. Just call 1-866-545-9322. That's 1-866-545-9322 to get Verizon Online DSL for about what you've been paying for dial-up and see what you've been missing. 32 photos of grandson opened. 347 favorite disco tunes downloaded. Phone, broadband, TV, Verizon. <laughs> this telecast is available on ESPN HD, presented by Pioneer Plasma Displays. That's going to look good on your Pioneer Plasma. Nice shot of downtown Charlotte. Beautiful weekend. And Navy right now beating Boston College 24 to 16 in the third quarter of the Meineke Car Care Bowl. And that's a hat. That's a helmet with some stuff and a trophy and something on it. And then the Navy ship. Dr. Joe Bates, our stage manager, says in the Navy, a boat is a submarine, a ship is a ship. And that was a A.J. Brooks carry. Let's go down to Jimmy Dykes. Well, Pam, I'm with Boston College Athletic Director Gene DeFilippo. And, and Gene, I watched your press conference when you introduced Jeff Jagosinski as your head coach. You said within the first 20 minutes of talking to him, you knew he was the guy. What was it in those first 20 minutes? Well, you know, he was just so positive, so confident, his enthusiasm just flowing. And he wanted so badly to be at BC. I knew he was the guy. A former BC assistant, how much did that play into the factor of hiring Jagosinski? Well, it really played into it a lot because 
Jags had been with us for two years. He was our offensive coordinator at 33. Uh, you know, we knew him. He knew about our academic mission. Um, that was a big part of it. You interviewed uh, five guys. Frank Spaziani was one of them. He doesn't get the job. What's his status on that BC staff after this ball game? Well, Frank's a great, great football coach, and we hope that he's going to be here, at, stay at BC. But we'll get through this game, and then we'll see what happens. All right, Gene, good to visit with you. Congratulations on your hire. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, Jimmy. Here, Boston College, third and 12. Blitz on, and Ryan is down. David Mahoney coming in strong from his linebacking spot. He has seven sacks now on the season, and BC has to punt. Dave Mahoney, 5'9", 205-pound linebacker. Two sacks away from breaking the Navy record, as you said, Pam, with a good play. That is the third sack of the game for Navy, and it's a fourth and 22. Jason Tomlinson awaits Johnny Ayers' punt. The Navy should get fairly good field position as they were able to push BC back 12 yards on that last possession for the Eagles. Tomlinson gets it at his 37 and picks up about four yards after the 43-yard punt. So David Mahoney coming up with the big sack, giving the ball back to Navy, and their option offense run by this guy, Kaipo Noah Kahiaku in Hata. Will they chew up the clock? You guys run the double team a lot, right? Join us in March for ESPN The Weekend at the Walt Disney World Resort. Book your trip online today. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center. Right service, right price. The final days of the Pontiac Red Tag event is the time to find Pontiacs designed with power, impressive fuel economy, and the best coverage in America. And now find them tagged in red. And the price on that tag is the price you pay. The Pontiac Red Tag event. Your last chance to get the best factory to dealer incentives of the year, but only until January 2nd. See some red, save some green. Finally, a vacation in the Alps. <laughs> Dad, we're not really in the Alps. Well, my credit card miles expired, but a virtual trip is still fun, huh? Where's Mom? Oh, Armando, teach me to dance. Oh. Hey, that is my wife! <laughs> You should switch to Capital One. Get Capital One's no hassle rewards with no miles expiration, no earned caps, and no blackout dates. Oh, I'm the Amazon! What's in your wallet? Why well, you only get the front seat? Because I have a higher education. Well, you I mean, took honors classes. In high school. Hey, it's Bobby Bowden. I'm gonna touch him. Now would be a good time to have accident forgiveness. I'm still going to touch him. Part of Allstate, your choice auto insurance. Are you in good hands? That wasn't him. But you still touched him. Sound matters. The cat back dual system exhaust. Now available at Monarchy for only $350. Monarchy, right service, right price. 3.38 left to go in the third quarter. Navy beating Boston College 24 to 16 here in Charlotte. You can help decide the Pontiac game-changing performance of the year. Vote at ESPN.com. Search Pontiac to determine which school will win the $100,000 general scholarship fund contribution courtesy of Pontiac. There are the choices. Iowa, Clemson, Auburn, or Oregon State. Log on to ESPN.com and cast your vote. First and 10 for Navy from the 41. And the quarterback, Kahiaku and Hata holds on to it. Brian Toll makes a stop after about a five yard gain. Good decision by Kaipo there because the pitch was taken away. Wisely kept the football. Comes out. Now he knows this triple is going to go to the option. Carries the ball for five yards. 
The two guys on the right side of that whole, uh, of the Navy line, Harper and McGinn, weigh 257 and 247 pounds respectively. Very small offensive line. Pitch goes to Campbell, and he goes down for about a five-yard loss. Larry Anam with the stop, and now Navy facing a third and ten. And that's why Paul Johnson, when he when Jimmy Dykes asked him, "Why are you throwing?" because the defensive backs and then number nine just roars up the field, forgets about the pass and made the tackle. That's why they have to throw the football. And I'm paying the price. He hurt himself on the play as he is uh, helped off to the side of the field. You see he's uh, from Nigeria originally, and he is one of the several Eagles who have already graduated from college and now getting their master's degree. And a flag comes down, and this should negate a huge run for the first down by Kahiaku and Hada. Takes it all the way down to the 36-yard line, gain 25, but it's a hold against Navy. Andrew McGinn, number 75. We're going to call it on him. Right tackle. Again, one of the little guys we were talking about at 6'1", 247. Holding, number 75. The 10 yard penalty, repeat third down. Paul Johnson doesn't like to call. Here's the right tackle, McGinn. He's gonna be called for the hold. Hands outside. Yeah, I'll tell you what, no, I'd have to argue that because on the sideline, Paul Johnson, they may have seen his hand a little bit clearer than I, than I did. Conference USA officials working this game. So Doing instead a good of, job. Yeah, Doing instead a of a job. first down, it's third and 20. And they will not throw the ball. Instead, Kahiaku and Hata holds on to it. And Akins, who was held on that last play, makes the stop. So that holding call negating a first down that would have put Navy into Boston College territory, and now they're gonna have to punt for the second straight possession. And that was big because Matt Ryan, passing-wise, has open receivers. He can get hot and lead this Boston College team back one score away. Potato's first and only punt of the game, his last, and Navy's last possession went for 35 yards. DeJuan Tribble staying away from this one, but it takes a Navy bounce and will roll dead at the 29-yard line. That's a 40-yard punt for Vitetto. Now here is today's Subway Fresh Fact, and it involves Buddy Green. The defensive coordinator for Navy was a head coach at Tennessee Chattanooga, and one of his receivers was Terrell Owens. That's why that hair is great. <laughs> we asked Buddy about him. He said Terrell was a guy who would do anything you wanted. He special teams, that he was a good guy to coach at that time. So humble was the word he used. Uh, something's happened since he left Buddy Green. Safety blitz is on, and... The pass is complete to Jay Survival Ross for a two-yard gain. That's the first time Sir Jay Survival Ross has gotten involved in the offense. He was born in Liberia. It was Jeff is his first name. Goes by Survival now. And there you see the passing yards, total yardage. Navy up 130 on BC. Time of possession, nothing unusual for Navy to lead in that category. But they are leading BC, number 23 team in the country, by eight. Stopped a couple of yards short of the first down on that play is Andre Challenger, who picked up five. And you would think BC with the big offensive line out win Navy's players that they would be able to run the ball better. But Navy just clogging that defensive line up, doing a good job. The third quarter has come to an end. Josh Beekman, the first team All-American senior from the state of New York among those getting ready to play his final quarter of collegiate football, BC down eight. 
Bowl game, USC versus Michigan, New Year's Day on ABC. Here's to men, to guys who want to spend more time having fun and less time in the men's room. And here's to Flomax. It's approved to treat male urinary symptoms due to BPH, also called an enlarged prostate. In one week, Flomax may help symptoms like frequently waking up at night to go, going often, going urgently, weak stream. Ask your doctor if symptoms are from BPH, not prostate cancer. Common side effects of Flomax are runny nose, dizziness, and decrease in semen. Upon standing, a sudden decrease in blood pressure may occur, rarely resulting in fainting. So when starting Flomax, avoid situations where injury could result. To learn more, call 866-4-FLOMAX. Ask your doctor. Flomax could make a difference in one week. For some, recovery is a long road. For men, they reach for Revitalizing Lotion Q10. Because Q10 replenishes skin to feel healthy, firm, and fit. Especially when you don't. Nivea for men. More evolved skin care. I'm Lucy Spiller. Dirt Magazine. Courtney Cox. I don't care if you're on your deathbed, your mother's on fire. I need a picture of that body. In an FX original series. Maybe you could give me a little piece of gas. That way I can help you get your career out of the toilet. I'm an actor, that's all I ever wanted to do. No, you wanted to be famous. There's a big difference. Dirt, series premiere, Tuesday at 10. Only on FX. Viewer discretion advised. Homeowners, want to get cash and simplify your bills? Ask about a combo loan from Countrywide. It's a refi that you could use to combine your first mortgage, your second mortgage, your car loan, and all your high-rate credit card debt into one easy loan with one low monthly payment. It could save you hundreds every month. Call America's number one home loan lender now and ask for a combo loan. No one can do what Countrywide can. Apply now. Call 1-800-642-1071. Hi, I'm Tyler Tidwell, senior outside linebacker from Deer Creek, Oklahoma. I want to say uh, happy holidays to all our sailors and Marines overseas. We hope you guys make it home safe. There is Tyler from Edmond, Oklahoma. Terrific student, as are most of these guys at the Naval Academy. And he is... We had an opportunity to visit with him yesterday. He's a senior playing his last game for the Naval Academy, and then he's... Going into active duty as that pass is complete to the tight end Ryan Purvis for the first down. First and 10 now from the 40. There's your uh, snapshot. Class president, all four years of high school. Both of his parents, retired Oklahoma City police officers, good athlete, and got about 36 inch ups on him. And uh, he is going into Marine Corps ground duty after. After the, he's finished playing football, that is the assignment he has chosen as that carry for on, by Andre Callender. And for more on Tidwell, let's go down to Jimmy Dykes. Pam, you're right about Tyler Tidwell. He's actually one of nine Navy seniors that have chosen to go into Marine Corps ground duty as their postgraduate service. He says after six months of training in Virginia, he and the eight other seniors that choose Marine Corps ground duty will most likely be on the front lines in Iraq. I said, why would you choose that as your selection service, Tyler? And he said, if I'm going to serve my country, I want to put myself on the line. He comes by it naturally, guys, because his dad, Bobby, earned two Purple Hearts as a Marine in the Vietnam War as well. And you know what, Tyler Tidwell, he just might be a president of the United States someday with that kind of courage that he has. A great attitude and uh, wants, to, wants to serve his country. Got to admire these guys and girls and... Uh, what they do and uh, I just uh, I think and the football team is playing so well together uh, they're beating Boston College now 24 16 and here's a third and six for the Eagles from their own 45 no plays it's going to be a false start false against start BC on the offense number 70 it's a five yard penalty and it remains third down Tim you talked about the time constraints and what all they have to do at the academy and they truly love the game of football they they have a passion for football they love the game they love practicing paul johnson said when i came here and we won it meant it made it would be feel better I only practice about two hours a day because of all their other duties at the academy after the false start, third and 11 for the Eagles. They have to get just past midfield. Ryan with time, 
runs out of it and then is sacked at the 40. John Chan, the senior from Pleasant Hill, California. The 14 sacks in his career give him a 15th. John Chan, six foot one, 240 pounds, beats the block and forces Matt Ryan up out of the pocket, makes the sack. Chan considered the most productive defensive lineman. Coaches say that he has the ability really to run after guys and he proved it on that sack. The punt, Jason Tomlinson awaiting. And he lets it go over his head, wants it to go into the end zone, but instead it takes a backward turn. And Boston College downs it. Johnny Ayers with a good punt as it is downed around the six yard line. Some of the midshipmen and representing the Naval Academy from Annapolis, Maryland, watching and watching a game in which their team is up 24-16. Let this happen to you. You can trust us for a job done right. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. The greetings are different. See that? It took me like three hits. You should have your own TV show. I'm like some sort of handyman genius. Like when things are real easy? You're gonna love what we've done to retirement planning. It's called My Plan from Fidelity. Retirement planning made easy. Smart move. Jared here with the champ John Cena. Everyone knows Subway restaurants for delicious low-fat subs, like the six-inch Subway Club. Order a foot long, and it's still less than half the fat of a McDonald's Big Mac. The real surprise, it's got twice the meat, so it fills me up without slowing me down. Wow. <laughs> less fat. More meat. Less fat. More meat. The delicious foot long Subway Club. Less than half the fat of a McDonald's Big Mac, but twice the meat. Subway. Eat fresh. <laughs> Sound Matters, the cat back dual system exhaust. Now available at Monarchy for only $350. Monarchy, right service, right price. You guys run the double team a lot, right? Join us in March for ESPN The Weekend at the Walt Disney World Resort. Book your trip online today. 12-17 left to go in the fourth. Navy leading Boston College 24-16. Fourth straight bowl game for Navy. Their bowl history the last couple of times. First, let's go back two years ago to the Emerald Bowl against New Mexico. Their last possession, 26 plays, 94 yards, 14 minutes and 26 seconds over the third and fourth quarters. And then last year against Colorado State in the poinsettia bowl. 467 yards rushing, 611 total yards. Reggie Campbell with five touchdowns as they beat Colorado State 51 to 30. And you know that Paul Johnson and company would love nothing more than a drive to take up about 12 minutes right about now. Only one score here in the second half. That was a field goal by Navy back in the third quarter as Kahiako and Hata holds on to it and gets three. Pam, you're right. They want a long drive. They want to knock this clock off right now. 11.50 left to go in this uh, ball game. They want to shorten the game. It's like playing a basketball team, like a four-corner basketball yeah. team that says, we're not going to give you the ball. We're going to keep it. And we're like Princeton in basketball. They, they do so many things, but they don't allow you to have the ball. That limit the possessions of the other guy. And that's one way to neutralize when a team is not as talented. Reggie Campbell certainly has some talent. And he takes it up around the 12, picked up four before Mark Perslick made the stop. Navy and Boston College playing in the Meineke Car Care Bowl. 
Boston College coming in. They have won six straight bowl games. That is the longest active streak in the country. In this game, though, Navy, the number one rushing team in the country, has a couple of touchdown passes. And you see the last time Navy won a game against a ranked team, October 4, three years ago, when they beat Air Force. And Jason Tomlinson now being helped off the field. Tomlinson is one of the two guys who has caught a touchdown pass today for the Middies. And Pam, we have some time right now. I want to say uh, congratulations to Fisher, Fisher DeBerry, who's retiring at Air Force. He has been a fantastic coach for the Air Force, a gentleman. Everybody loves him that came in contact with him. We wish him well. As he is retiring after a couple of tough seasons at the academy, of course, none of these Navy guys, these seniors, and no, none of the underclassmen either have lost to a service no. academy. Ain't no. How about that? Third and three for Navy. Can they keep this drive alive? On the pitch, coming around, O.J. Washington, and he is taken down for a loss. This B.C. defense, that time true freshman Alex Albright making the stop, and B.C. will get the ball back. Alex Albright stayed at home. He knew eventually Navy's going to come with a reverse. He stands right there. He came back. Had enough speed to make this play and force the punt. So Navy would have loved to have held on to the ball, only had it there for about two minutes. And Vitetto punting again. His third punt all coming here in the second half. And it's a short one. Fielded at the 44 by Dewan Tribble. And Tribble taken down a good tackle by Jeff Delees. So plenty of time left here for the Eagles, and they start from Navy territory. Coming up Monday at noon on ESPN2, Bob Knight could make history and pass Dean Smith's record for most wins in men's Division I basketball. Texas Tech hosts New Mexico on the South Plains. That's New Year's Day, noon Eastern. That's 11 a.m. Lubbock time on ESPN2. Also available on ESPN2 HD. And Boston College gets it down to the 30. Andre Callender with the carry, picks up seven. And that's what BC wants to do right now. Take the ball out of Ryan's hands on every play being a pass. Find a way to run the ball. Turn your size and strength into a weapon against Navy. Matt Ryan, the number one passer in the ACC this year, also number one in total offense. He's thrown a couple of interceptions in this ball game. Not the usual Matt Ryan performance we're used to seeing as that should be a Boston College first down calendar tackled down by David Wright. Matt Ryan playing with a broken bone in his left foot. Disclosed that to Jimmy Dykes yesterday. Wears a boot off the field all the time. That's going to have surgery on it. And he's been toughing it out all season. Pam, you got to think about Matt Ryan's favorite receiver, number 26, Tony Gonzalez. He's a clutch guy. He likes to go to. It was indeed a first down, so first and 10 for BC from the 26. Handoff right up the middle. Andre Callender picks up five on first down. Boston College's play selection today pretty balanced as they've only run the ball four more times than they have thrown it. The only blemish in that passing side again the, the two interceptions one of them was deep in or close to the goal line as Boston College was driving. And that's going to be a loss on that play as Jeff Delees comes up and stops Andre Callender for a four-yard loss. That's five straight runs in this drive for Boston College. And Jeff DeLees really has had a very good football game for Navy. Comes forward, the, the good penetration on the offensive line allow that play uh, to be tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. There's Gonzalez right here, 26. 
Ryan flushed out of the pocket, can run for a first down, instead goes for the touchdown and has it. Ryan Purvis, his tight end, scores for BC. At the tight end against the linebacker, Rob Caldwell. Ryan Purvis, 6'4", 254, is going to get free. But what makes the play is Matt Ryan being able to step up in the pocket. Purvis with his second touchdown catch of the season, and they are going for two. Boston College going for the tie. Steve Aponavicius missed an extra point on their first touchdown of the game. That's the difference. Ryan zips it. It's incomplete. Gonzalez. It hit him, and he was unable to bring it in to tie up the game. He has made so many clutch catches in his BC career. He knows he should have had that football. Tony Gonzalez, the favorite receiver of Matt Ryan. He says, when I need a big catch, he's the guy I'm going to go to. The go-to guy in the touchdown was Ryan Purvis, the sophomore from Reinholds, Pennsylvania. 25-yard score, and then they go to Tony Gonzalez to try to tie it up. And he can't bring it in. Navy by two. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center. Right service, right price. Earn a college degree in the U.S. Navy. And proudly display your school colors. Navy, accelerate your life. Here's a radically simple suggestion from eLoan. Spend too much money spreading the holiday cheer? Consolidate your debt with a home equity loan and pay one low monthly rate. Just call 1-800-TRY-ELOAN or go to eLoan.com. eLoan. Radically simple. If there were a store in your town called Peace of Mind, would you pay it a visit? Across America in towns big and small, there is such a place. New York Life. It starts with our values of financial strength, integrity, and humanity, and continues with our agents. So look for us in your town. You may already know our people, and we are confident that peace of mind is why New York Life is the company you keep. Must be bowl season. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. ESPN College Football, the Meineke Car Care Bowl, is brought to you by Meineke Car Care Center. Right service, right price. The U.S. Navy, Navy, accelerate your life. And ESPN Game Plan. Buy your bowl game package on ESPN.com's Game Plan Online and catch over 20 bowl games live and on demand. This is the Dilworth District, just outside of the city limits in Charlotte, known as a streetcar suburb. And some of the houses date back to the early 1900s. Very nice neighborhood outside of Charlotte, where we join you for the Meineke Car Care Bowl and where uh, Anthony Gonzalez dropping that two-point conversion attempt that would have tied this game up. And as the ball seemed to hit him right where he usually, I mean, 99 times out of 100, he'll make that catch. He didn't hear, and it remains a two-point lead for the Naval Academy. Shun White fields the kickoff at his 10. Takes it up over the 25, 17-yard return, and Navy takes over at the 28. Been a good bowl game. 
Navy and Boston College. Ken Walker, the CEO of Meineke, was so proud that they got Navy here this year. It's been a great game. Navy led at the half, 21 to 16, a couple of touchdown passes as they came out throwing the ball early, had a different quarterback in Jared Bryant start the game. And now they're settling down and they've really had trouble moving the ball, just sticking with this option offense. They've had to punt three straight times as Eric Atani, the fullback, picks up three. Later on today, you can catch two more bowl games on ESPN. When we are finished at 4.30 Eastern, Texas takes on Iowa in the Alamo Bowl. Then at 8 Eastern, Chick-fil-A Bowl features Georgia and Virginia Tech. The Alamo Bowl and Chick-fil-A Bowl on ESPN, part of Capital One Bowl Week, also available in high definition on ESPN HD and ESPN Radio. Drew Tate, the Texas native, gets to go back home to Texas and play for Iowa against the Longhorns. Kahiaku and Hada just getting the pitch off in time. Well, that could have been disastrous as Shun White was able to grab onto it, but he lost five yards. A better job by BC getting up the football field with their front four and uh, getting up the field. All of a sudden, there's no place to go. Working up the field in the pitch. Now they have people pursuing the pitch, the quarterback. They've stopped the dive here in the second half. Jolon Dunbar piling up the tackles. He has 11 of them so far, and the BC fans getting into it. They need a stop on third and 11. Kahiaku and Hada going down, sacked by Dunbar and Austin Giles. They lose five more yards, and this BC defense has been very good in the second half. And Dunbar, a tri-captain, is leading the way, and all of a sudden, for the one of the first times today, I've seen more emotion out of BC. They know they can win 10 games for the first time since 84. Another three and out for Navy. And another punt for Greg Vitetto. That one gets some air under it. It's taken by DeJuan Tribble, and he is taken down immediately at the 42-yard line by Zerbin Singleton, one of the slot backs, after the 35-yard Vitetto punt. Plenty of time left, 5.19 left to go. Boston College only trails Navy by two, and the Eagles have all three of their timeouts remaining. And the Bears finish the season undefeated with a last second field goal from 46 yards out. Don't let this happen to you. You can trust us for a job done right. Monarchy Car Care Center, right service, right price. We worked on Sam Adams Light for over two years. The whole brewing staff was dedicated. Sam Adams Light reaches a level of flavor that light beer has never gotten to before. continues today with the Alamo Bowl at 4.30, followed by the Chick-fil-A Bowl at 8 on ESPN. Three incomplete homework assignments. Five movie trailers stopped midstream. Thirteen important phone calls missed. When you've got dial-up, you can miss out on so much. Now, you don't have to anymore. Not when you can get high-speed Verizon Online DSL for a really low price. And you can do so much more, like click and connect to the net in an instant talk on the phone and surf the web at the same time on the same line. Download photos faster than ever before. Just call 1-866-545-9322. That's 1-866-545-9322 to get Verizon Online DSL for about what you've been paying for dial-up and see what you've been missing. 32 photos of grandson opened. 347 favorite disco tunes downloaded. Phone, broadband, TV, Verizon. We'd like to send a big hello out to Captain Bryce McDonald, who was injured in Iraq and is currently in Bethesda Hospital right now, and to say thank you to all the armed forces around the world that are helping protect our freedom. 
Paul Johnson's Navy team right now with a two point lead very precarious lead Boston College with the ball 519 left to go in the fourth quarter and they start from their own 42 yard line Matt Ryan will screen pass completes it out to Andre Callender and his tailback picking up only two yards on that play played really well by Ty Adams a defensive end who's six foot two 225 pounds light used to be an outside linebacker they moved him down to the defensive end spot and from his side he's looking at two guys who are 321 pounds and 318 on the right side of that BC line unbelievable Ryan scrambling away from pressure he's going for it putting it up towards the end zone and it falls incomplete rich Gannell was the closest to it Jeremy McGowan who had an interception in the first half was defending Navy with so much pressure on the quarterback Frank Spaziani and Dana Bible the offensive coordinator is rolling out Matt Ryan to get him away from the pressure and boy that time it was David Mahoney number 40 who was in hot pursuit of Ryan only four completions 30 plus yards that's all season third and eight the stadium is rocking Ryan fires has a man open and overthrows him Brandon Robinson had gotten in between a couple of Navy defenders and Ryan missed him. Pam with 429 on the clock. You got to punt the ball here. You have all three timeouts left. So Navy is going to get the football. Boston College needs their defense to stop Navy, give their offense one more shot. That was a, a drive, if, if you can call it that. They only used up 50 seconds, three and out from good field position at the 43 yard line. That's where they started. It stalls at the 45. Reggie Campbell waits at his 10. Flag is down. High punt by Ayers is fair caught at the 10 by Campbell. And flag back close to where the ball was punted and it's going to be against Boston College. They're gonna take, Navy's gonna take the penalty. Back them up five more yards. We punt. And you see Paul Johnson saying the same thing. Take back him up. Frank Spazian, he's done a good job with the staff. I talked about transition. Illegal motion, number 35. The five-yard penalty and a re-kick. Your leader's gone. Tom O'Brien, who brought everybody to the school, he's gone. All of a sudden, you have an interim coach in Frank Spaziani, the coaches, players. Will he get the job? He doesn't get the job. You hire somebody else. It's just a lot going on in the lives of these people at Boston College. Jeff Jagosinski signed a five-year contract. The offensive coordinator for the Packers will take over as the Boston College head coach with Tom O'Brien taking the job at NC State. Another re-kick. Campbell gets it at his 13 and takes it up to the 23. So they gain 13 yards after that penalty. Tomorrow night at 7.30 Eastern, Coach Larry Coker leads his Hurricanes onto the field one last time. Miami takes on Nevada in the MPC Computers Bowl on ESPN. Tomorrow, 7.30 Eastern, part of Capital One Bowl Week, also available on ESPN HD. And that's always a good atmosphere in Boise. They play in that blue field. And Larry Coker did a great job at Miami. and he really uh, did. And not good enough. He's a good man. And uh, Chris Alt, the Nevada coach, winning coach, Three timeouts left by both Navy and BC. BC will use theirs. Navy with only 107 yards of offense in the second half. They scored a field goal on their first possession and since then have punted on their last four. Pitch to Campbell. And Reggie Campbell is taken down inbounds. Clock keeps going as Jamie Silva makes a stop. Let's go down to the field and Jimmy Dykes. 
And Pam, Paul Johnson knows he's three and a half minutes away from a bowl victory. He told me yesterday he's been calling plays in this offense, the option offense, for 23 years. Interesting to note, he does not have a play chart anywhere close to him throughout the ball game. And he said he has two offensive assistants upstairs. He only asked for help maybe two or three times a game. Everything about this offense is in Paul Johnson's head. It's all on his shoulders right now to finish off this ball game. Yep, he ran that offense with great success, winning two championships, national championships at Division I AA Georgia Southern. He's led Navy to its fourth straight bowl game for the first time ever. Bahiaco and Hana breaks it for the first down and more. And initially stayed in bounds and then goes out of bounds at the 46 yard line, 16 yards and a first down Navy. A great call. A misdirection call where Kaipo is going to keep the football. It looked like it was going to be a pitch, turns pitch. Everybody from BC goes that way with the pitch. Kaipo thinking about staying in bounds right there, but then he had run out of bounds. But uh, Navy, Paul Johnson with a good call in this football game. Now Frank Spaziani going to start thinking about burning those three timeouts as we are inside of three minutes. Pull back, the dive guy gets it and loses a yard or two. Ron Brace tackling down Eric Catani. First time out taken by BC. This is our last football game of the season. Mike, it's been a pleasure working with you all year. Kim, it's been great. Appreciate it. Eric Poseman, our producer. Praven Martin, our director. Robert Slawsby, our athletic, our athletic director, our assistant uh, director. He could be that, too. And his name is, of course, his nickname. Bubba. Bubba. Mike Mascaro, also in there, is the AP. Stefan Monnier, Chris Pastor, Pete Smith, Sean Coy, just a lot of great guys. Tim Cuss, Ernie Dunlap, have been with me for a few years in videotape. These, they work so hard. I mean, we're up here, and you know, people get to see Jimmy's cute face. And there's one of our camera people. That is, that's Elaine Rom. They work so hard at trying to yep. give the best pictures and the best broadcast, and uh, we're proud of this group. Tony Medici under the weather today. Our, our great camera guy was with Jimmy on the sidelines. Brian Sachs, who sets up the booth. Mike Moody, thanks to them. Michelle McKenzie in audio. We got Rocky Rudy in video. Heather Wilson and Barbara Hansen. Special thanks our operations managers. They are the best. Great. They just take care of the little things behind the scenes and, uh, and make this operation go smoothly. And up here, Ed Svita, who's been uh, my statistician for the uh, second half of the year. Tony Britt, Bill Garrity, the best spotter in the business. So uh, it's been a pleasure. But right now, Boston College trying to stop Reggie Campbell in Navy. And Reggie stays on his feet, fumbles the ball, but it goes out of bounds. Navy gets the first down, and Reggie looks over with a sigh of relief and a smile. Reggie Campbell's glad that ball bounced out of bounds. Whew, little sigh of relief. Reggie Campbell, 5'6", listed. He would have been about four foot eight if that ball would have stayed in bounds. <laughs> wow. Watch a ball pop out. Ryan Glasper coming in and punching it out. Campbell with 59 yards on the ground, 116 yards on the ground for Shun White, but two of those came on two long runs. So he has his second career 100-yard game. As the clock runs. Maybe letting the play clock run down all the way before they take a timeout. So Boston College still with two timeouts remaining, but only 2.10 left to go, and Navy has a first down. Now, BC has had some close finishes this season in their nine-win year. Tom O'Brien, the head coach, against Clemson in September. Joe Lon Dunbar with the huge block to the point after that set up the win for them, 34-33 in double overtime. Then against BYU, Tony Gonzalez got a touchdown pass, and then Jamie Silva with a big interception. They win that one 30-23, another double overtime. And then at NC State, it goes the other way. Daniel Evans with a touchdown, and then NC State wins that 17-15 as Evans hit John Dunlap. So some close calls close for BC. Calls. Pam, go back to the fumble by Reggie Campbell. When the ball went out of bounds, they take it back to the spot he fumbled the football in. 
which was inbound, so they started to clock. But fortunately for Campbell, not only did he not lose the ball, he had run for a first down, so they still got the first down on that play. As Reggie, who's only a junior, we will see him back next year with Navy. First and 10 for the midshipmen from the 42 of Boston College. Katani, the fullback, carries it for a five-yard gain, and Boston College has to burn its second timeout. Navy, the number one rushing team in the country, averaging over 327 yards per game, and Shun White over 116 yards. Singleton, Zervin Singleton, also with a big game, and Reggie Campbell. Singleton, by the way, an ESPN Magazine Academic All-District selection in aerospace engineering and astronautics. Wow. wow. I mean, that's I impressive. I can't even say it. <laughs> and when I look at these running backs, they got to be saying, hey, our offensive line did a great job, but the receivers did a great job blocking downfield. And Kaipo, Noah, the quarterback, he took so many hits after pitching the ball. A team effort. And there are the Navy guys getting ready to celebrate. Jason Tomlinson has caught a touchdown pass. Tyree Barnes caught a touchdown pass. Yes, that's right, folks. Navy, which had five touchdown passes all season, threw two of them today in the first half. Catching this BC defense off guard. So Paul Johnson and his coaching staff, you have a few extra weeks after Army, and they cooked up something good. It at least worked in the first half, but BC has done a good job shutting them down in the second half. This drive has been big here. Yep, just when they needed it, they've already used up over two minutes, and this is the sixth play of the drive. BC only has one timeout left as Katani is wrapped up, and the big arms of BJ Raji, all 6'1, 340 pounds of him. The Eagles take their final timeout with a minute 58 left to go. Later on today, two more bowl games here on ESPN. First at 4.30 Eastern, that's the bottom of the hour. Texas takes on Iowa in the Alamo Bowl, followed at 8 Eastern by the Chick-fil-A Bowl with Georgia and Virginia Tech. The Alamo Bowl and Chick-fil-A Bowl on ESPN, part of Capital One Bowl Week, also available in high definition on ESPN HD and ESPN Radio. Joe Bates did not mention him. Thanks to him, our great stage manager and the best de dentist in Alba, Iowa. Don't go to his head. Oh, really? Don't, don't talk <laughs> about him. Third and five for Navy as they are holding on to a 24-22 lead over Boston College in the Meineke Car Care Bowl. Navy in its fourth straight bowl game. They've never done that before as Boston College coming in, the number 23 ranked team in the country, the favorite in this game. But Navy breaking out on top, led this game 21-16 at the half. Low scoring second half. One touchdown for BC, one field goal for Navy, and they're getting ready. They're feeling it in Annapolis right about now, but this is a third and five for Kahiaku and Hata and the rest of this Navy offense. About to toss sweep. That's been good to them the whole game. out tried to draw BC off sides and a couple of players you might have seen jumped for BC but quickly were able to get back so Kahiaku and Hata unable to snap it while they were in the neutral zone and Navy has one timeout remaining with a minute 58 left to go in the game how proud are you how strong are you how imposing can you be the best way to prove yourself is to play in a game like this. USC, Michigan. In the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl game presented by City, New Year's Day. USC and Michigan playing in the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl game. Two of the teams that uh, feel they might have had a chance at the national championship, but it's going to be almost like a, the old time Rose Bowl when it was a Big Ten school against the Pac-10. Great game. It should be an outstanding game. And Pam, this gives us a chance. Our servicemen and women over, overseas and every, everywhere, we wish them a happy new year and God bless you. 
And the Navy guys hoping for something extra to celebrate. They convert this third and five. It could trigger it. They do go with the toss sweep. And running for the first down is Sean White, but a flag is down in the Navy backfield. O.J. Washington, they're going to catch him for holding. Holding on the offense, number 78. It's a 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay third down. It's going to be on Cole Smith. Number 78. I think they called it on uh, Washington. It was a little bit of a takedown by one of the linemen. So to gate that first down, and we, and we think the officials made a mistake. They meant to say 79, Matt Pritchett, because Cole Smith not in the game. James Rossi is the center as uh, anyway. What it adds up to, instead of a first down, it's a third and 15. They have to get to the 32-yard line to hold on to the ball. And Campbell fumbles the football. Boston College gets it. Jolon Dunbar, like a magnet. When the football's loose, he's around it. He picks it up. And Boston College, with a minute 43 left, had the football on the 40 of Navy. Looked like a play busted up from the start. Run the pitch. I thought they would run the fullback on this play. They come outside. Kaipo pitches the ball. And it looked like Reggie Campbell took his eyes off the ball. Looked downfield to see who he had to beat. 15 tackles for Dunbar and the big fumble recovery. Ryan zips it out to Callender out of the backfield. Nice tackle by Jeff Deleese, his third big play of the second half to keep Callender in bounds. Deleese has really had a big ball game. Sure tackle. Austin College does not have any timeouts remaining. Second and six now from the 36. Blitz is on, they pick it up. Ryan, with all the time in the world, finds his tight end, Ryan Purvis. First down Eagles at the 21-yard line. Keenan Little makes the stop after a 15-yard gain. Jolon Dunbar has been fantastic. This junior from Syracuse, New York, leading tackler on the squad, captain of the team. And he has played well, came up with that huge fumble recovery. Clock rolling. Two tight ends in for the Eagles and fullback Mark Palmer. They give it to the running back calendar and he'll get maybe a yard or two. Clint Sovey, who has an interception today, makes the stop. Navy with only one timeout left. On a vicious sitting on the sideline, standing on the sideline, his season high, only 36 yards. That was the 36 yard field goal he hit against Virginia Tech in his first ever game, October 12th has not made one from 40 yards or longer all season. They want to get it closer. Calendar doing just that. David Mahoney makes the stop. The clock is running. They're going to have to kill it. No timeouts left. So Ryan calmly sets him up, kills the clock with three seconds left to go. This will be approximately a 37-yard field goal for Aponovicius, it would be a new career high. And in case you don't remember the story, he was a walk-on, cheered in the student section last season, and had never played a football game in his life. Came on, they saw him kicking practice field goals on the field, invited him to walk on, and now he can try to win the Monarchy Car Care Bowl from 37 yards out, the first Navy takes a timeout. He did hit a 26-yard field goal in the second quarter today. Missed an extra point early in this football game. Navy trying to ice him a little bit last time out. Missed that extra point in their very first touchdown. 
made it six nothing. The last time Navy scored, or excuse me, Boston College scored a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. They went for two to tie it. The two point conversion failed, and now Ponovicius can atone for that missed extra point by hitting this 37 yard field goal. He set up right in the middle of the hash marks. Jolar Dunbar is today's player of the game sponsored by Capital One. Jolan with a terrific game, 15 tackles, a sack, and a huge fumble recovery that could set up the game-winning field goal. Upon a vicious for the win. And he's got it! Boston College has won its seventh straight bowl game on the foot of a walk-on kicker who sat and cheered in the student section just last season. A great comeback for the Eagles. Stunned silence for Navy. The lost fumble, Matt Ryan and company took it from the 40-yard line with no timeouts remaining. And upon a vicious, the storybook career, what a great ending to this season as he's carried off the field as he wins the game with a last second, career long, 37 yard field goal. Damn, a lot of feelings on the sideline, BC. Lost their coach, they love Frank Spaziani. They love the coaches. Sorry to see them leaving, but uh, Here's the kick, right down Main Street. And BC's team with 10 wins, first time since Doug Flutie in 84. Matt Ryan with the celebration for the starting quarterback. As a Ponovicius nails it from 37 yards out. And how about this, a kid who never played football in his life, didn't kick in a football game until this season, wins it on the last play of the year. Let's go down to Jimmy Dykes. All right, Rudy, I've got to ask you, man, you play your first football game ever this year. Describe for me how you feel right now. Oh, I feel so great. You know, obviously to win the game is phenomenal, but to missing that first extra point, I felt like if we would have lost, it would have been on my shoulder. So to come back and win it like that, it's unbelievable. But it's a tribute to the whole team that we got down there for a chance to win it. With very little experience, when they called timeout to try to freeze you, what did you think prior to that kick? Uh, I was actually glad they did it. I got to uh, pat down the ground a little bit. So I had to thank Coach Johnson for that one. That helped me out. Glad you came out for the team? Very glad. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you man. very much. All right, Jimmy, one of those uh, great stories. You got a feel for Reggie Campbell. Yeah. That was a tough pitch, though, for him to try to gather in. Tough pitch. He had a great football game. Dropped the ball there, but he, he nobody feels worse than he does. But he's a good football player. Played hard all day. And only 5-6, maybe. Boston College, your 2006 Meineke Car Care Bowl champions as they come from behind to beat Navy. 25-24. For Mike Gottfried and Jimmy Dykes, our entire great crew, I'm Pam Ward as we uh, say goodbye to another season. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, Steve Apana Vicious. They call him Sid Vicious from 37 yards out, wins it. BC takes it 25-24. We say so long from Charlotte. Let's go to the studio and restate. <laughs>